she is. First of all, let's look at this awesome shirt. Yeah. Welcome, foolish mortals. And we're right here in front of, you just want to watch that for a sec? Yeah. The Haunted Mansion Step and Repeat right here at Disney Springs. We are right across from Split Luxury Lanes. Sorry about that mishap with the first stream. I thought I'd be crafty and like start the stream with the credits. It was really cool. We had about 60 people watching, but hopefully everyone comes back. But since I started the stream in a dark theater, I started it with the camera upside down. And on YouTube, once you start in one position, it's locked there for eternity, which is a very similar theme to the Haunted Mansion. So I'm not gonna give you any spoilers at all about the movie, but I will talk about it and tell you what I thought. But first I will just show you some of the fanfare here since we are at Disney Springs and the goal is, I'm so pumped about this movie and I really did like it, is we are gonna go straight from here. I'm gonna hop on a Disney bus, head straight to the Magic Kingdom and head straight on to the Haunted Mansion. I am so excited. If you do me a big favor, please hit that like button we got to get everybody back in here. we got to spread that love. If you could do me the big favor, share it. Tell everyone there's a new link. We had a bunch of people on the old one, but we had to reboot it. So sorry about that, everyone. But yeah, here we are at Disney Springs on Walt Disney World property. Shall we walk towards the buses, Lauren? Sure. Who was your favorite character now that we're looking at all the characters? Who? Oh, Owen Wilson? He was hilarious. So Owen Wilson brought the uh, comic relief in the movie. Again, we're doing no spoilers. But I thought everybody was very good. By the way, the Hotbox Ghost is played by Jared Leto. A lot of people don't realize that. He's the Hotbox Ghost, Jared Leto. Look at that. You didn't know it either. Uh, I thought the young kid was very good. Danny DeVito was also very funny. Tiffany Haddish is always hysterical. And Lakeith did a great job uh, in his role, too. I don't want to get too much away, but he has a very big role in the movie. Owen Wilson? Come on! He's hilarious! If anyone saw uh, some of the promotions for Haunted Mansion, then Owen Wilson, Jamie Lee Curtis, and Lakeith Stanfield, uh, Stanfeld, Stanfield? I don't know if there's an irony there. Stanfeld? Lakeith, anyway. Uh, they all went and did uh, like a few hours at the Haunted Mansion in Disneyland and let oh, guests okay. come in and they were all dressed in the full outfits. Yeah. And one of my favorite things, <laughs> Owen Wilson goes, yeah, a lot of people just think I'm just a voice of a car. I'm more than that. Like, which was very funny because he is the voice of Lightning McQueen. A lot of work being done here. So this, uh, used to be the old, if you haven't been here in a while, the old restaurant that looked like the big pineapple, the glorious stuff on restaurant. Then it was supposed to be this other restaurant and then COVID hit, everything got put on hold. It's been sitting stale. But then the same company who was gonna build the last restaurant changed the name to Summer House on the Lake. There's other ones that exist and they uh, have gone vertical with construction, which is nice. Someone's got a very hot mic over there. It's they got to change the speaker. Let's see what's happening over here. So we're going to talk all about the Haunted Mansion. Again, no spoilers, I promise. I know a lot of people are excited to see it. But I'll tell you all the things I liked without any spoilers on the bus ride to the Magic Kingdom. But let's see what's happening over here at Disney Springs. Looks like they're promoting H2O Glow. We got a dance party going on. Oh, 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 can't touch this. The roof, the roof is on fire. Always fun to do that when you're outside. The roof, the roof. <laughs> Just a cute little dog enjoying Disney Springs. What? Little legs. Little legs. All right, so while we walk, since sadly everyone, the first spoiler of this stream, nothing to do with the Haunted Mansion. Uh, by the way, I'm rocking the Haunted Mansion shirt too. We both got the Haunted Mansion shirts on. 
uh, is Lauren is going to be coming to the Magic Kingdom with me. She's yeah. got a lot to do today. We pulled her out of the house for seven long hours yesterday. If you missed our opening day of Food & Wine stream, it was awesome. It was a long day, but it was awesome. I had so much fun with all of you, and I got a lot of positive feedback. And we got a bunch of new subscribers, so welcome to everybody who's new. So nice to have you here on the channel. Uh, so without any spoilers, what did you think of the Haunted Mansion? It was better than I thought it was going to be. Uh, you know, you're going to get a little cheese, you know, a little cheesiness, but that's to be expected. Uh, I thought the story was actually really well done. Like, it was consistent, and it had a nice message, too, which I appreciated. So I thought I thought it was, it was better than I expected. I thought it was a good movie. You literally laughed and cried in this movie. I did. Lauren laughed and cried in this movie. <laughs> And you got scared a few times. It, it was more like the jump, like loud little jump scares in the Dolby theater that we were. That's one thing I was gonna say is that people were asking me, "Oh, there's some more yeah. haunted mansion stuff." Uh, is is it okay for kids? And I would say if your child has gone on the haunted mansion and didn't have any qualms about riding the haunted mansion, yeah. then I think they'd be able to do the movie. Especially, it probably best <laughs> if they did it recently. So at least they can identify like, oh, we, yeah. that is that, that is that. But if they haven't done the Haunted Mansion ride yeah. and they're a little young, there are scary elements in the movie. I thought at the beginning there were scarier things because the ghosts. It starts out very like, scary and then it gets funnier and more yeah, lighthearted. But I think once you like see the ghosts more clearly as the story goes on, to me they look Fake. I think in the beginning they're more like a creepy, like you can't really see them, jump scare type thing. So I think that in itself is scarier than when you actually like see Let's them. go this way really quick. Okay. We don't want to keep talking to you and you know what I was thinking? I'm going to grab a drink for the road. Okay. I'm going to have plenty of sips of that drink. Yeah, I know you are. <laughs> you uh, no, keep going because I want to keep the conversation going as well. I'm saying like the anticipation of actually seeing the go, you know, like that the jump scares are there more. Um, but I wouldn't say it's like scary, frightening. No, it's kids, not like but... a scary movie, but there yeah. are frightening moments because it is about the Haunted Mansion. Especially it starts out, like I said, there's a few of those little jump scares and when they're yeah. setting up why and how yeah. the mansion is and haunted. I think they did that very well too. I think that was... They did. Yeah. I really, I thought, really honestly, liked it. I yeah. thought it was much better than I thought. And a lot I didn't of people see the other one, the Eddie Murphy one. I didn't. See oh, that was terrible. You did, you did yourself a service by not okay. seeing that. But what I loved, I actually picked up on this. Like when they did do the jump scare or the like things that would be scarier to kids, it was like immediately after it, almost in the same breath, there was comic relief. Yes. It was like immediately, like so purposefully done. It was very it was good. Like, where like yeah, it's not like bombarding you with fear there's yeah. no gore there's no, 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 no there's just like a little scary thing and then most of the time there'll be some kind of witty comment yeah or something from somewhere yeah, to and, and I bring it back that, yeah. it, very shakespeare-esque very shakespeare-esque you say yes because when there's a tragedy he lord's really, an english teacher so here we go like usually when there's tragedy the scene following that there's going to be comic relief and i feel like that is what they did with the hunter man I was a big fan. Uh, I'll be talking a lot about it. Like I said, we're just gonna grab a quick drink here at Disney Springs because over the Magic Kingdom, it's a dry park. And I'm excited to go ride the Haunted Mansion because now I wanna see all the things. Whoever did this, or the team that oversaw the script and the sets and the whole movie, the producers, the director, really had to dig deep. I don't think, is it? Yeah, it's three. It is. Right? All right, so just so everyone knows, STK is extremely expensive, but this is the only time if you're poor. <laughs> no, not if you're poor, but it is a very, very good deal. So let's go show you the happy hour real quick, and then we'll hop on a bus and go to Magic Kingdom. Yeah, air conditioning, great deals, good specials. We'll show you what, what it's all about. Nice photo spot. Also, big shout out. Um, we put a post up today on our page. Hey, can we sit at the bar? Thanks. We put a post up on our community page on YouTube and in the Discord, just kind of thanking everyone because you guys have all been so awesome, so kind, so generous. Oh, packed house. No. I mean, it's jumping. You want to just sit real quick? I'll ask. Excuse me? Since there's no spots at the bar, can we just sit in the bar area if we just want to grab like drinks and hang out for a little bit? Um, this is the longest seating. You have to 
check with the whole set for this area. Okay. But the, um, yeah. There's no two there's, seats. There's still yeah. a happy hour happening here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's see if we can grab a, yeah, yeah, let's see if we can grab a quick table. That way we can talk about the movie together. All right, there's no two seats in the bar. So is there any way you can grab a table? Oh, I'm so sorry. I would never cut the line. Anyway, going back to, we made a post today saying thanks, and the last time we were at STK, we were here with uh, Robert D. and his other half, and uh, we had such a lovely brunch together and a lovely day. So shout out to Robert D. Lovely day. Loving it. This is a great spot if you're going to see Barbie and you're dressed in pink and you want yes, to see some photos a before. lot of pink undertones. Not us. Carney? Oh, sorry, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> you said Carney. So if you're here in the next two weeks, we'll also show you what's going on with Disney Springs uh, flavors of Florida. We'll take this to the table. Just life, the haunted mansion. <laughs> if you're just joining us, I know you might be confused by the thumbnail. We just walked out of the haunted mansion here at Disney Springs. And now we are about to go head in. I'll meet you there to uh, just grab a quick drink and talk to you about the movie here on a nice quiet place because Lauren's gonna grab the car and go home, get some stuff done. I'm gonna hop on a Disney bus and literally go to ride the Haunted Mansion of the Magic Kingdom. And we'll talk more there too, but I figure spend some quality time with Lauren. And it's happy hour at STK, one of the best deals here at Disney Springs between three and six, and I'll show you why. But if you're just coming in, hit that like button. We're gonna have some fun. Talk a little Haunted Mansion, go to the Magic Kingdom, go to Epcot and Disney Springs. Three spots in one stream? What? There she is. I'm right behind you. How's it going? Is it okay if we record? You look amazing. I mean, you don't have to be on it if you don't want to, but... No, you look great. What are you talking about? <laughs> We'll face us so it's not uncomfortable for you. There you go. Do you want to be on it? All right, you can be on it if you want. Later? Okay. Wait, I get more comfortable. All right, let's, <laughs> let's get comfortable. All right. So we're here because we're telling everybody how you guys have an amazing happy hour special. Yes. Probably one of the best at Disney Springs. Yes. So what is it? <laughs> no, I figure we'll tell everyone in person. I know what well, it is. Is there a happy hour menu? Or is there a happy hour menu? Oh. Part of their menu, but this is the back side. It's gonna be all the there it is. The bottom part. So we have great, great. Let's call it tapas because they're like little yes. bites. Small yeah? plates, yeah. It's small plates, correct. Um, uh, honestly, my favorite one is probably gonna be the surf and turf because you get a three ounce uh, filet mignon and a corn for nice. Oh, products. yeah. Yes. Um, that and the oysters are always favorite ones. Yes. First, the calamari, popcorn, chicken, and the little burgers are going to be the top sellers. Yeah, they're um, very cute, very cute. But since you're here, you can probably just get one of each and try it all, right? Oh, whoa, well, whoa, We're not whoa. that rich, but... Whoa. Also, we have a lot of walking around the heat to do. <laughs> okay. And yesterday we did food and wine. I mean, yeah. we've just been on an oh, yeah. eating train. Yesterday was the first day, right? Yeah. Yes. Oh, we were there really for good. seven hours. It was a day. I'm going to wait until mid-September because the ones that I like are not open yet. Oh, yeah, a lot of booths open in September. Uh, and it might be a little cooler. And yeah. the musical acts are great in September and October at yeah. night. They're very good. Um, is it still also you get half price on all your cocktails? No, uh, it's $9. Even oh, better. Even better? Okay. Yeah. That's even better. Yeah, we have award-winning spiced watermelon. Oh, I know what I want, though. That... That Tequila. cucumber stiletto. That's yeah. what I'm doing too. You're gonna that's get that? Oh, then maybe that's I'll get something favorite. else. That's my favorite one. Then maybe I'll get the strawberry cobbler because that's really good too. Okay. I mean, yeah, let's start yeah. with those two. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And some waters, please. Ice water or bottled water? Ice water. Tap is fine. Yeah, yeah. thank you so much. All right, so I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the specials here. Again, we're gonna talk Haunted Mansion. It's good because we're right next to each other. Yes, yeah, perfect. Oh, real close. Uh, first of all, thank you so much again to everybody who watched the stream from yesterday. We had a long, amazing, epic day at Epcot for the first day of the International Food and Wine Festival. And uh, today, I was on the fence about doing a live stream, 
but I convinced Lauren by just buying a ticket to the movie without her. Yeah, I was not aware. I said, we're going to see the Haunted Mansion today. And, and that's I said, all I knew. I would be delighted if we could drive there together. You can go home and get some more work done. And she's got some plans later on today. I said, I'm going to go right from the Haunted Mansion Disney Springs to the Haunted Mansion Magic Kingdom. And then we can go back over to Food and Wine and try some stuff we didn't try. And friend of the channel, Michelle Wargo, is over there today. So we're going to meet up with Michelle and see her too. So right now we are at STK just for a quick drink because we could talk the movie. We could talk uh, channel. And also, I love bringing you kind of fun finds. So the happy hour here, STK is a very expensive place. But Monday through Friday, from 3 until 6.30, so if you're ever here around dinner time or maybe before dinner, you can come in, and I'll show you this menu as well, but for $3, they have oysters on the half show, $3 tater tots, $3 falafel and chili tahini. For 6 bucks, you get the little burger and truffle fries. You get the little burger with mushrooms and truffle fries. You get the Wagyu meatballs. You get the short rib quesadilla. You get the vodka cured cucumber and salmon stiletto that I'm trying today. I'm gonna try it right now. What is it? I don't know, let's just get it. Can we put in a vodka cured cucumber and salmon stiletto? Thank you so much. And a little please. burger. And a little burger, please. I need that. It's so good. Uh, and then if they have a nine dollar menu, so it's a three six nine. In the nine dollar menu, they have the Japanese A five wagyu taco, the beef tartar, the tuna tartar taco, the popcorn chicken, the crispy calamari, the jalapeno pickled shrimp cocktail, and the steak and frites. Also for nine dollars, you have uh, one, two, three different wines by the glass, and all of their signature cocktails, which are normally uh, twenty one dollars each are $9 each during happy hour. I just saw the price on that. Yeah. I never knew So that. it used to be half price. So when it was 21, it was, you know, you pay like 10 50. So $9 each is even better. I know, but wow. And then they also have for $19, that's the, yeah. that's the special price. They have their happy hour surf and turf, which is that three ounce filet and jumbo prawn she was talking about. But just to put into perspective how big of a savings that is, the entrees here, I'm just looking at some of the steaks and dishes. Run anywhere from, I'm looking at 49, 58, 73, 83, 88, 112, 98, 92, 122, 100. These are the prices per item. So when you're paying $100 an item, when you have a happy hour menu, that's $3, to $6, and $9. And the sides? It's a special. The sides are normally 19. Yeah, a side is $19 here. Uh, that's why the last time we were here with her was Robert D. Because we only come on special occasions. Lobster mac and cheese. The lobster mac and cheese is thirty-two dollars. The side. Cheers. Because I have to hydrate. Yeah, you do. It's hot out. Even when there's overcast, it is hot. Um, we put in the food. We put in some drinks. I just want to say hi to some of the chat real quick. Say I'm sorry. Hi to the chat. Again, to anybody who I missed in the first chat, say hi again here. I want to say hi to everyone. And again, if you're just joining, please hit the like button. We see about 110 people are hanging Thank out you. and only 66 likes. Smash the thumbs up. Thank Look so at this. All right. Fantastic. These look amazing. Okay, so Lauren has the cucumber stiletto. I also love this beverage. My favorite. Uh, inside of the cucumber stiletto is Grey Goose Le Citron Vodka, Saint Germain, Muddled Cucumber, and Mint. Ugh. Very nice. This is like dessert in a cup. So I'm normally not a big sweet person, but there's something about this. It's just it's like a special treat. The strawberry cobbler is Belvedere vodka, muddled strawberry, and a graham cracker crust. Ooh. I gotta try yours too. So good. Yeah, I gotta try yours too. Oh, don't take that big of a sip. It's a baby sip. This is not a baby sip. The graham cracker is really nice. The graham cracker is so nice. It really complements the whole thing. Yeah, it's like not It's like if you're drinking, you know like the strawberry shortcake we got from the ice cream man? I never got that. Well, we did because <laughs> our parents gave us no rules. No. Uh, we got ice cream. Fireworks. Oh my god. No. It's, it's like that. Like if you were to bite it but without the brain freeze. Anyway, let's say hi to some chat real quick. I just think that's, that's delightful. It is. It's so refreshing. Yeah. Perfect on a hot day. So I'm going to go back as far as I can really quick to say hi to as many of you as possible. Again, if you're looking for the Haunted Mansion, we just left the movie, and we are headed to the Haunted Mansion right after we grab a quick little bite 
and a quick drink. We're just doing a little, quick little tapas, a little nosh, because all I had to eat today was popcorn. So I need a little something in the belly. And then we're gonna head over to, to go on the Haunted Mansion at Disney, and we'll tell you all about the movie without spoilers. Anyway, hello to David Lung, Siva Cove, Nick Turp in the house, Colleen Kidder, uh, Alyssa Stenberg, great to see you, Moogle, Peaches Pete, Jamie, <laughs> Shelly. I knew somebody was gonna do that. Good screen grab. If uh, you're curious what we're looking at, someone screen grabbed us, like putting going cheek to cheek and put it in our Discord. If you're not on the Discord, you gotta go check it out. It's great, it's linked down below. Katie McGinnis, does anyone else uh, still see Peter's live right now? Yeah, I was. We messed up that stream and we're here instead. I started the stream, I wanted to be creative since I said from the Haunted Mansion to the Haunted Mansion. So I started it as the credits started to roll in the theater. So I had my camera set up, I hit go live, and then I realized I started it upside down. So the credits look fine on my camera, but not realizing that my camera was in the bottom corner instead of the top corner. And that throws the gimbal off, and then YouTube won't let you switch. It's a whole thing. It's just a classic my bad. People make mistakes. And I did. So I'm sorry. Anyway, let me get back to saying hello to a bunch of people so we can talk about this movie a little bit. I'm putting a picture of the cocktails in the Discord along with the description of what they are. Just Look so at you. Know. Look at that. Gives me something to do. Is there a... You could also put it in the Brewery Talk channel if you want, so people can find it later on. Because the general goes, on, there's a lot of messages okay, in the general. I'll put it. So we have a channel called Brewery yeah. Talk. I don't know if we have one just for cocktails. Maybe we should do that. Brewery and cocktails, but we go to a lot of breweries, so we have a brewery channel as well. Anyway, where were we? Uh, hi, Moogle, Peaches Pete, Shelly, Lynette, Katie McGinnis, David Lung, Jordan Garrett is here, CJL, Lynette, Jason, what's up, Bobby? CJL, again, sorry, I'm just gonna read as many as I can. Carissa is here, Big Al in the house. Uh, Scott Adams says, Happy Friday to our favorite Disney couple. Oh, Scott. <laughs> Thank you. Phenomenal Brady's made the move over. Uh, Final Rain says, Owen Wilson's character also has a surprising strong character arc, which I agree. Yeah, yeah. And it's it comes later in the movie. Mm -hmm. But he's still very funny. I love the comic relief from Owen Wilson. I, but I'm an Owen Wilson fan. I know he, some people think he's like one note, but I yeah. I like him. I thought, honestly, he was my favorite character, and he I had do a, not enjoy him. He had a profile. You know what made me like him a lot? He had a profile. This is going to sound like I'm 100 years old, but on like CBS Sunday morning or Saturday morning. Oh, okay. And they did like a little deep dive into Owen Wilson, and I liked it. Like, I was like, oh, this is a guy I like. Uh, Brian, Sports Entertainment, what's going on? Channel KT Cat, what's going on? Said I thought Jimmy Lee Curtis did a poor job. So I wouldn't say she did a poor job. I will say that I was so impressed with her. So if no one has seen The Bear on Hulu or FX, it's an absolutely amazing show. Season one won a bunch of awards. Season two is going to win a bunch of awards. And there's a specific episode in season two with Jamie Lee Curtis that I think is the best acting she has ever done. Or maybe it's just one of the most powerful scenes. So The Bear is an amazing show. Go watch it. It's on my top show list of all time. Go check it out. Um, but yeah, coming off of that, she does play a little bit of a kitschy role in this. Yeah. Um, but she's not, it's not, she doesn't play that big of a role. For those who don't know, she plays Madame Leota. And so she's in the movie, but I wouldn't say she like makes or breaks the movie by any means. I just want to say, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that your strawberry cobbler is literally vodka with muddled strawberry. Like, that's it. Yeah, and a graham cracker crust. It's perfect. What else do you need on there? so... But it's so smooth. Like me, baby. Oh, yeah. Like butter. Like butter. Like butter. These go down so easy. Might have to have a second one. All right, hold on. We have more chat. We need to go back into the movie. Where was I? Where was I? Here we go. Peaches Peace says, Good afternoon, Carney Crew. Please hit the like button on your way in and help others find the stream. Thanks, Peaches. I appreciate that. Peaches. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Brandy says she was going to write a review of the movie in the Discord, but the Halloween Horror Nights news drop dominated her brain. There was news on Halloween Horror Nights that came out today. That's Brandy's forte. She's very also, good at Also, kind of... No, go ahead. I no, cut you off. I'm sorry. I'm saying she's very good at 
explaining everything that's happening there, and she's like in the know with uh, Colleen Harder. So it's like her thing. Her We're gonna change it to Brandy as a our senior correspondent. Uh, Hope is already our executive producer, so it makes sense. Okay. Uh, Looks great. I was gonna say, brilliant move by HHN. Disney's opening day of Haunted Mansion. What do they do? Drop a bunch of haunted stuff and news. Universal yeah. and Disney. Yeah. They're like, oh, oh, you Halloween people, you're excited for Haunted Mansion? Nay, nay. Here's some Halloween Horror Nights news. Yeah. That was convenient. All right. We got a lot of chat, and I love it. Thank you for everyone who's chatting. I'm going to get to you in a second. Again, we got over 110 people watching, uh, 79 likes. Hit that like button. It really does help. Maybe we'll get a lot of people in here. Again, we're about to go on a Disney bus ride together. We haven't done that on a live stream in a while. You always have a good bus ride, too. Always have good bus rides. I don't want to jinx it. Oh, oh yes. Sure. We'll never turn that down. Thank you so much. That's why this happy hour is awesome. We're getting three and six dollar bites. And look at this bread. Oh, I gotta show Wait, you this. Yeah. It smells amazing. <laughs> God. Oh, yeah. Ain't that some stuff? Oh, I was like, you're going to sing that? Really? I know the clean versions. Come on. <laughs> what is this, you think? Give it a try. It looks awesome. There are so many Easter eggs in this movie in the Haunted Mansion. I got a thing before on the walk. They oh, cover yeah. everything. Thank oh, wow. You. We're going to have to order more than that, but let's. The camera eats first. Okay, again, so we're here for each uh, SDK's happy hour. So, this is. Well, I should probably turn the camera around. So, the one that's furthest away or on top of your screen, that is the vodka cured cucumber and salmon stiletto. It looks awesome. Then, right next to it, you got the little burger. With the truffle fries. That's a cute little burger. All right. You can get into it first. I am, but I want to take a picture. Take Come that on. picture. I think they could have gave us some more fries. They used to be like a mini basket. I know. I was going to say, there's no way they're like giving us cheaper alcohol and not cutting back on the food. <laughs> I'm going to try one of these salmon stilettos. I'm just going for it. Go ahead. Not good. I really was excited because I love like a good salmon tartare. Um, not the best. It does taste like almost, I mean, it does say vodka cured cucumber. I'm getting a, like a lot of cure flavor, and the sad part is, is that it carries over to that salmon, making the salmon not seem as fresh. Because you're getting a cure on the cucumber, so like the best part of salmon is how fresh it is. Like the right. fresher it is, the better, and like you get that like pop of like you just yeah you know eat something fresh out of the ocean. And when you have that cure on like a cucumber, it's, I feel like it hurts the salmon. But. I see uh, how's the burger? I'll do one bite. You can have the rest. One bite. Everybody knows the rules. That is one bite to you. <laughs> it's pretty good, right? It's very good. Yeah. Do you want to get one other thing, too? You can pick. Right. We'll add you some chat. Short rib case in Short rib quesadilla, you had me at short rib quesadilla, yes. All the things. I mean, I guess, right? That, I guess. Can we please do the short rib quesadilla? And can I do the Wagyu meatballs as well? Okay. Wow. And you know what? I'm Even though you did it, I'm going to do it too. Let's do, no, you know what? Let's do the spiced watermelon. How spiced is it? It's though? not. I've had it here before. It's great. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was just looking out for I, it. Spiced watermelon, meatball, and the quesadilla, please. Thank you so much. Yeah, just a quick, cheap meal. Well, <laughs> I'll show everybody what it's like. 
Gosh. This is gonna be my dinner. All right, it's not mine. I know, but you have all the food that I cooked at home. I'll be out doing no, this. No, I'm going out to dinner. And you're going out to dinner, that's right. And I'm going to Tutu Tango. Date. Oh my God, we love Tutu Tango. If you guys are looking for a great, thank you for saving some for the bus ride. If you guys have a, everything for a cool little spot off property, it's located uh, sort of near Icon Park, but right between Disney, SeaWorld, and Universal. If you're at either one of the three or the resorts near there, you're about 15, 20 minutes away from it in any direction. Cafe awesome Tutu Cafe Tutu Tango. Awesome food. Awesome. Again, our what? Our favorite. Our favorite happy hour. Favorite brunch. Favorite brunch. They have live entertainment during the brunch. The pricing is very decent. It's affordable, and the food is amazing. Uh, even their Italian food, because they're partners with me as Italian kitchen next door to them. Family style. And it's family style, but Lauren even approves of their Italian food, which is like, whoa. Their, uh, their sauce is pretty good. They have great little pizzas. Love the little pizzas, too. Yeah, their all-you-can-eat brunch is straight-up insanity. It's, oh, my God. We have to do that again. We have to do it again, too. Maybe we'll do it on a live stream. Or if someone's visiting, maybe yeah. we'll do that in a live stream. I don't know. It's a, it's a lot. There's it's like a so lot much happening. food. There's so much happening. Yeah. It's uh, it's nuts. All right. I swear I'm gonna catch up with this chat, but there's so much to talk about. I love when we have so much to talk about. We do. This bread is. I don't want to waste the salmon. You, by the way, you can have the fries. I know you love the truffle fries. Oh yeah. I can. Um, I don't want to waste some, but like I really, I don't like the cure on the. I might just say something. You should. Like, cause I, but I never say anything about food or never send it back. I just want to say, like, listen, I know it's a it's a happy hour special. I'm not looking for anything. I just think Did it's, not enjoy it. I think it's a bold choice to put something so fresh with something that is. I get what you're saying. These feels like it was on a shelf enough. overnight. They could use a little more of a fry. I like can't do it. Okay. Let's okay. let's go back over here. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was like no. The burger, fantastic. The though, burger was great. And the drinks are amazing. Yeah. I really should keep track of where I am here by the timestamps, and I keep forgetting. Come for the food, stay for the drinks. My love. This place is very 80s, like in the style and the music selection. I feel like every it time we're here. It does feel like I'm eating at my mother's hair salon growing up. <laughs> <laughs> They changed it though. I feel like they redid the ceiling or something. It was more mirrors at one point. I feel like I remember more mirrors and I was like, wow, what decade is this? No, but it's fun. I like it. I, I like I, it too. I, I don't think, saying. honestly too, I don't I think you're thinking early 90s. Maybe. Uh, I mean, it's fun. <laughs> David Lung. By the end of yesterday's stream, Lauren was on the verge of turning into a Cat 5 hurricane. It was a long day. It's a long day for a lot of people, and honestly, I have to publicly applaud you because you really did stick it out way longer than I thought. I didn't want to say it because I don't like jinxing it. I don't like telling Lauren at a time, like, hey, if you could just give me like a solid four or five hours, I'll be good. I didn't say anything. I just said, let's go have a great day together. And I was like, do you want to come? It would mean so much to me, and everyone loves when you're on the stream. And you made it a long day. And you did it really good. And I had a great time. And everyone enjoyed it. Good, I'm glad. I hope I wasn't too crabby at the end. But no. I reach a point and I just have to go. And I totally get that. And I appreciate you sticking it out with us. Yeah. All right, let's go back over here. Um, people are asking how spooky it was. A little spooky. Brandy wrote here in the chat, spooky level, there are a few jump scares, but it overall has a much darker tone than either Haunted Mansion, Eddie Murphy, or The Muppets. Yes. Yeah, so this is going to be darker. Again, not... That's why I said, if people people have been asking me, let me know. That's why I liked it. Yeah. Like I said, people have been asking me, can I bring my kids? And I would say the answer to that is, if your kids can have been on the Haunted Mansion and handle that, I think they'd be okay with this. But this is a this is it has a little scary moments, but they're it's balanced. We're wait we're waiting for you. We can't wait <laughs> for your grand arrival. <laughs> All right, this so I got, so again, we talked about this yesterday on the food and wine stream. I'm not a big watermelon person, except when it is mixed with tequila or mezcal. This Sorry. is their award-winning spiced watermelon. I'm also not a big spice person, but again, spice and watermelon go well here. So, I know it says award-winning. They changed it to the menu, it literally says. This is Patron Silver Tequila, 
Saint Germain, watermelon puree, fresh lime, and a little jalapeno. <laughs> you gotta try it. I think it's too mean. You gotta try it with it. What? Spicy? Spicier than I remember. Oh, but I'm still drinking it. It's good. It's good. Oh. No. No. <laughs> I don't Our know. favorite drinks here I are agree. still the cucumber stiletto and the strawberry cooler. Our first two. <laughs> but also they have the SDK mule. Their perfect margarita is good. Their mojito is good. Uh, what else have I had? I should have known. I smelled it. The French love is good. Woo. I mean, I don't know. I want to. I really like their cocktail menu. I could do more of it. All right. I swear we're gonna catch up with this chat. Oh. You all right over there? No. How am I okay? I don't know. After that sandwich you had. I think that's what it was. The sandwich for food and wine yesterday. Now I could just eat anything. That is. I love all, I love all this chat by the way. Don't keep chatting. I'm gonna catch up. I'm gonna get there. Alright, here we go, here we go. We're back on track, back on track. Uh, also, yeah, if you're a Haunted Mansion fan, you will like this movie. This is finally the, the Haunted Mansion movie for you. It has everything. It doesn't miss. I honestly don't think it missed a single thing from the ride. Everything is referenced there, and also they they play with it very well. Uh, again, I'm not going to give any spoilers. They, It's not like you're going on the ride, which is very nice. There is a story. Um, the timing of certain rooms that you go through the Haunted Mansion may be different in the movie. But the way they incorporate it all, they put a story behind things, they make, they reference things. Some things that don't need a story that are just in it uh, are great. Like, you know, there's even, again, these aren't spoilers, but like there's a Doom Buggy reference in it. There's, you know, everyone loves Donald's chair, the floating uh, candelabra, all those things you'll see. And it's awesome. Uh, it's not really, again, Brandy nailed it here in the, in the comments where it says uh, the overall theme of the film isn't really about horror. It's not a scary movie or a horror movie. It's uh, a movie about the Haunted Mansion that still has an emotional story that runs through it. Yeah. I liked I liked the, the story behind the Haunted Mansion. I thought they did a good job explaining I love Which there's I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. I love the way some people are named, some characters are named. I love the different mansions or buildings you might see and the references. They're really good. They're very well done. This movie was made for Haunted Mansion fans. Um, I forgot who texted yeah. it to me, but they were like, even though it might have been Mike and Courtney or or I mean uh, it could have been also I was talking with Don and Brandy in our other chat, but like the critics may have been a little rough on the movie, but if you are a Disney fan or a Haunted Mansion fan, you're really going to like it. It's a very good job of, I don't know, it, I think it'll make your Haunted Mansion, like give your- Give the feels. Give you all the feels, exactly. And the cast is amazing. Like, again, like I love Danny DeVito. I love Tiffany Haddish. I love Tiffany Haddish. Rosario Dawson, uh, Lakeith, uh, Owen Wilson, even the little yeah. guys, so good too. Yeah. Uh, and I love the little, it's almost like a cameo. He's only in it for like five minutes, but uh, what's his oh, face? Yeah. Uh, Dan Hassan. Levy? Oh, yeah, and Hassan Minaj. And Hassan, oh, yeah, Hassan Minaj. Uh, Dan Levy. Dan Levy is very funny, too. Wow. Oh, my God. All right, I'm at 334 when we come back, but let's show you the food. Thank you. Thank you. So the quesadilla is uh, more of a rolled interpreta interpretation. Interpretive, do it here. So those are those, here I'll, let's see, I'll grab the menu over here. Those meatballs are great. Yeah, so those are the Wagyu meatballs, and then the quesadilla is the short rib quesadilla right here. And it doesn't say what the dipping sauce is, but let's find out. It looks like a queso. Again, keep in mind, this is six bucks, that's six bucks. Uh, the little burger and truffle fries was six bucks, and the vodka cured cucumber and salmon stiletto was six bucks. So all of these small plates, but for SDK, not bad for six bucks. And the drinks are all nine dollars, which again are normally twenty-one. Which is crazy. Which is crazy pots. 
All right, shall we? Shall we eat? Yeah. What would you like first? Um, I'll try the short rib. Let's do it together. I'm just gonna. Yeah. Should I? Are you gonna fork it? I was just gonna do the old dip a root, but. All right. I wanted to be classy on the stream, but you say it's okay. I will just dip it. That's really good. Yep. Right? That's good. Wow. It's nice. I like that. Very good. I'm just gonna, may as well just do the second one. Let's finish the plate before we get to the meatballs. Because those are going to taste so different. Oh, wow. No, I just want to get the camera closer, so I'm making room. All right. Oh. <laughs> so spatially aware. Man. You know, they say I'm a bull in a china shop, but I say, totally what's? I've never been allowed in a china shop, so I don't even know what's in there. Yeah, you probably should not go. Good news. I'm only a half an hour behind in the chat. I could do that real quick. If you're just joining us for an STK for their happy hour, we just left the Haunted Mansion. We're gonna be chatting about it here. Then I'm taking a bus over to go on the real Haunted Mansion in a minute. And then we're gonna go to Epcot. It's gonna be epic. So you're joining the stream at the right time. You haven't missed much. Although I would say we got about 120 people watching and only 95 likes. Let's hit that like button. Let's create some magic everywhere we go. And big shout out. Bunch of new subscribers yesterday. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the, uh, and welcome to all the new subscribers. And also, if you want to subscribe today, we'd love to have you. <laughs> it's a fun channel, I promise. We have an amazing community. Go check out the Discord, all that fun stuff. All right, so. We got Anthony the Molar Man here. Shout out, what's going on, Anthony? I watched some of your videos, they're very good. Yes, that's a good point, Brandy. <laughs> uh, even though the theme is death, the Haunted Mansion, you're going to see ghosts and people who are living and dying, there's no scenes where anyone dies. And that's not a spoiler. Again, it, I think it's a <laughs> family movie for, like, older kids or, like, yeah. really brave young kids. I, I don't know if the younger kids would understand the no, overarching no. message, so I don't know if it would be appropriate for... A young kid would only like it if they literally ten. just walked off the Haunted Mansion and then saw this movie and be like, oh, that was like the thing I just saw. Yeah, but I wouldn't say anyone under 10, right? I don't know. I don't know. I, like, I think every kid matures, develops, and then has different interests at different times. Some kids are into ghost stories. Some kids aren't yeah. into ghost stories. Yeah. Uh, Colleen says, Haunted Mansion is my favorite ride. I think you'll enjoy the movie. It really does pay homage to the ride. Robert D in the house. We love Robert D. Happy Hour SDK is the best. Mm -hmm. I agree. Uh, Shelly says, all right, so it sounds like Olivia will be okay. She hasn't really seen many scary movies, but she's fine with the ride. Yeah, if she is familiar with the ride and okay with it, she'll be okay here. And just tell her to hang in there. There's some scenes that might seem scary, there's comic relief and there's things worked in. The movie gets less scary as it goes on. Yeah, I think the person that was sitting next to me, there was like a mom and a daughter and the daughter was right next to me. And she like, in the beginning was kind of like this with the jump scares and mom, and she's like, am I gonna be scared? And mom's like, you'll be fine. And then as the movie went on, she was like laughing and more relaxed. Yeah. So. Uh, Brandy says, it's no worse for kids than Ghostbusters or Gremlins or any of the scary movies we watch as kids. Now, granted, I've never seen Ghostbusters or Gremlins because I wasn't allowed to watch those as a kid. Yeah, oh, Peter's saying hi to me. Hello, Peter. Hello. Like I'm can. looking in the mirror. Hi, Ken. Hi, Ken. Uh, Farris commented on the photo I put up on Instagram. And he was like, so I was like, hi, Ken. Uh, my cousin wrote to me, hi, Barbie. And I said, hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Three movies in one week, Laura. We've never done that, I think, in our relationship. I love the movies. Yeah. Drag you to three. Well, I really want to see Barbie. Uh, we did a little Barbie and Ken outfits when we went and saw Barbie. I posted on my Instagram if you want to check it out. At Official Carney is the Insta. Uh, Peter's a great video. Thanks so much. 
Dawn, I'll be over there in two weeks. I'll try to get over there. That's what I'm talking about. I'll come with you, Dawn. Let me know. Uh, follow the Bradley's Fun. We met them yesterday at uh, Epcot. They said, Pete, what's going on? Brandy normally gets the strawberry cobbler, which we had, and the Wagyu quesadilla. There we go. Well, now it's, it's just... The, it's the Wagyu... They might have meatball. changed it up. Because, yeah, so now short the quesadilla ribs. is short ribs. The Wagyu is the meatball. Good. All right, let's get into the meatball. Let's Ooh. see what timestamp I'm up to. Jason Andrews only suffered four hours. That makes two of us. Yeah. <laughs> Colleen, all that food sounds delicious. It really is. Uh, right now, we are at STK at Disney Springs. We just left the Haunted Mansion movie at the AMC here at Springs. And we thought, hey, let's just go. I haven't had food yet today except for the popcorn in the movie. So before I headed over to the Magic Kingdom where the food is, okay. eh, we were like, let's grab a quick bite. Yeah, we're, doing we're doing all right. We're getting there. All the food is amazing. The only beef, I was just telling everybody, I love all the food here. That is new for the first time for me. Yeah. It's just weird because I get the cure on the cucumber, mm -hmm. but the salmon is like so fresh, but then the cucumber has this like weird cure where it makes the salmon not seem as fresh. Which is a little weird to me, but everything else is banging. Thank you. We love it all. Yeah. Are you happy with everything? Yeah. All right. We're, We're just sad about the salmon, but everything, everything else, else is great. awesome. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> That's why it's nice for happy hour. You come in, you yeah. try a bunch of things. Yeah. I'm okay. Yeah. How do you feel about this meatball? It's good. I know meatballs are very hard to talk to you about. Um especially because we're not in someone's home and it doesn't smell like garlic in the air but it's not it's not bad i, I would i'm going back for more and of course everyone loves their own homemade meatballs yeah no i'll say the sauce is great i think for me it's just i mean it is a meatball there's a lot of meat not a lot of cheese or breadcrumbs within which is what i'm used to it's just very dense and like just like meat and like not a lot of seasoning I feel like I don't know seasoning is all on top and the sauce but not so much in the center of it I'm gonna have some more of it and try another bite but I feel like it's just very meaty. I feel like if you get more sauce on it it's very good but yeah I the mean, meatball dry on its own is it's a little dense yeah but I think everyone no. has their own meatball that they grew up with right or no, I'm had, not saying it's bad it's, yeah. I'm just saying that's my take because like if I open a restaurant like there's no way I'm putting a meatball on the menu because everyone grew up with their own meatball that you can make something technically perfect by the book and it would yeah. be not the same as grandma's or your mom or dad's. I would just, you know, it's different for me. But the sauce is great and that's what makes a good dish is the sauce. So. There you go. You heard it here first. Hey. It's not even Sunday. What, has this sauce been around since last weekend? Uh, where are we? Good afternoon to Mark Mueller. Wow, Brandy said the strawberry cobbler is probably her favorite drink at Springs. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh. Uh, I also want to, I've had it before, but I want to go back and try it again. The Salt Air Margarita at Haleo. I think I had it when I was there with Dawn and a bunch of other people. Um, is it a tequila drink? Well, it's a margarita. But yeah, there's a foam, a salt air foam they put on top. But... Mezcal? We'll have to go find out. I see you're drinking that drink a little bit slower, huh? Well, I'm trying to catch up some chat here, Lauren. Also, if I finish it, I'm going to order another one, and I'm trying to be uh, fiscally responsible right now. Very good. I like that. Brandy, I thought the same thing when I read the menu. I was like, three, six, nine. That's what I thought in my head. I didn't want to say it, though. Whoever designed the menu definitely intended that. Mm -hmm. Uh, dockside margaritas isn't terrible. My brother loves dockside margaritas because they usually have live music. He likes to sit on the water, sip his margarita, and just stare at it in the springs. It's a very Brian thing. Very Brian thing. <laughs> it like makes sense that he likes it. I'm like, yeah. I like dockside a lot more when they were on Tables of Wonderland. Were they really? Yeah, because it was like one that. of the only like to go places. Not to go because I had a sit down area, but you could get a margarita. And we need that back, please. Who knows? You gotta keep the faith. 
things are slowly, you know, keep the faith. That was great. Yeah, Robert D. Yeah, so we were here for Sunday brunch with Robert D. We loved. It was a lovely great brunch. Push. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's. I mean, honestly, another great value during the brunch. I had a ridiculous the burger. Best value, though, I had I a Wagyu burger. It was like nine or ten dollars, and it was massive. I couldn't finish it. Now, granted, other things you can get items like that are like forty or fifty, but yeah. 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 Brunch or happy hour here. Other than that, there. I'm not saying don't come here. The food is good, but there's a lot of options here at Disney Springs. Yeah. Also, me and Robert D. rocked those bottomless mimosas together like champions. <laughs> Jason N says it's practically free. <laughs> <laughs> Chris L, what's going on? Great to see you. Yes, there's also a DJ oh, during brunch and a live hey. saxophone player, yeah. and you'll know I love some hot sax. It's just very. very it's fun. Weird. <laughs> Steve Brownlow, hello, good evening from the UK. Hey. Oh, I gotta post that other drink. Pete's Dummy in the house says, hello again, smash the like button, hope all is well, headed to a gig, trying to stay as busy as you. You do. Pete holds it down on Long Island. Uh, Follow the Bradley's Fun said, one of the things I hate about restaurants is they, uh, is they teach serving you to not bring water unless you ask. It's Florida, literally needs water everywhere. Yeah, we ask for water everywhere we go. I will say I like it here that the water just comes cold. It's not an ice cube person because well, one, it's hard to drink fast, and two, you don't get as much water with the ice cubes. I just want to put it back quickly and consume as much H2O as I can. So Christina asks how much, so all the food items uh, during the happy hour are three, six, or nine dollars, and all the signature cocktails that are normally 21 are only nine dollars. See, Colleen knew what I was talking about, the strawberry shortcake ice cream bars. That's what that drink tastes like. I don't know what you're talking about, I just uh, never had it. Walt Swafford, cheers, good to see you. Grumpy's here, Slanja. <laughs> Glenn Ritchie says, looks like there's a lot of booze in the Haunted Mansion. I mean, I would love a Haunted Mansion theme bar. I think it would be fantastic. I mean, you could literally have 999 different spirits. Oh my God, that's very funny. Uh, if I'm ready, so put it in the theme park tips channel. That's where she does her food and drink reviews. Oh, all right, Just I'll put it there page. too, yeah. yeah. Rosita Klein, what's going on? So we're chilling for a moment, howdy all. Uh, we're at STK, uh, Disney Springs. Just grabbing a quick little bite to eat and drink before we hop on a bus and go ride the Haunted Mansion. We just finished the movie. And Jay Thompson said The Bear is beyond awesome. Also in his top ten. I love that show. If you guys are looking for a, a new show to start, go watch The Bear. It's on uh, Hulu, FX. It's really good. Uh, Byron Miller says, where do you get the shirts? I'd like to get some. Well, these, I don't remember. I think mine, I got this forever ago. I think it was T-Public. Show your shirt. Oh, sorry. There it is. I think these are T-Public. Uh, Charlene says, did you learn anything new about the ride? If so, don't tell. Okay. <laughs> and that'll conclude that portion of the, that segment. Jack Sparrow, what's going on? Brandy says, Jamie Lee Curtis was a name grab to attract horror fans. Uh, I didn't hate her oh. casting, but it could have been written better. I, I would agree. That's an interesting That's point. a good point. I didn't think of That's that. That's why we keep Brandy. Brandy knows all. That is very smart. Uh, Trevor, I hope you're feeling better. Since I've been bed sick the last two days, so these streams have been great. Well, I'm glad we can hopefully bring you a little bit of joy and happiness. But feel better soon. Steve, what's going on? <laughs> we don't talk about that, Grumpy. Uh, yeah, that's very nice. We had someone yesterday come up to us on the Frozen line and say that they uh, liked the live streams, that when they were in the hospital and then recovering in the wheelchair, and she was able-bodied and fine uh, when we met her yesterday. Yeah, like. Yeah, she, she said something very sweet. It was very nice. We got a lot of really nice people yesterday. And also in the comments here, uh, private messages and people we met. It was very nice day yesterday. Jason N. got his frequent beer pass uh, and his comp pass. Nice. 
Kelly Waldron says that looks delicious. It is very good. Is that was that a pesto they were wondering? What was the green sauce with the bread? I think I think there's some basil in that. Oh, basil, basil sauce? and oil. I'll just try a little bit. Yeah. I'm trying not to have the bread, but yeah, it's basil and oil. Yeah, John Thorne, what's going on? First of all, hi, hello to John. Hello to John Thorne. And, but he knew. He said those are not enough fries for Lord. Colleen agreed with that sentiment. <laughs> yeah, the short rib was very good. We honestly liked everything. The meatballs were good. Um, again, I think everyone's going to have their own meatball that they grew up on. But I like it. I'm going back for more. But the salmon for Well, not the tartare, but this, they call it a stiletto. Look at that. Dawn said we went to Tutu Tango based on Pete's recommendation in the past, and they had a very good time. It's amazing. It's a great little spot. I'm telling you. Jack Sparrow says, I'm new. I've hit that subscribe button and like oh, to help welcome. out too. Thanks so much, Jack Sparrow. It's nice to have some celebrities here. <laughs> it does help. Thank you very much. Phenomena Brandy says, Tutu Tango is the best, the brunch is the best brunch in Orlando. I would agree. A little I, Freudian slip there. <laughs> the, <laughs> again, they do have dancers there. <laughs> I just like to, it's just a waste of time saying two words if you can combine them together. <laughs> If you combine best and brunch together. Eliza says, hi, Pete and Lauren. Excited to see that you're doing another stream. Well, we're happy to be here. Yeah, the Tutu Tango Brunch also has bottomless mimosas as well as, uh, at least they did while I was there. I don't know if they're getting rid of this, but they had bottomless screwdrivers. Well, yeah, and it's Bloody Marys too. So and Bloody like, Marys. So the way it works is they have the different juice bars. They used to go up, you used to go up to the bar and do it yourself. Now they bring it to your table. But so you have, you don't have to do orange juice. You have orange juice, pineapple juice, cranberry juice, and you can get champagne, vodka, or Bloody Mary. Right. And it's. So you're able to like mix and match like either vodka or champagne type of thing because those are the ingredients for Bloody Mary or. Um, a mimosa, so they allowed it, but I don't know if that's still a thing. It was it was a while ago when we were there, so. People like us come in and then they have to change the rules. <laughs> uh, Jason has asked if the happy hour here at SDK is only on weekdays. Well, weekdays is from 3 to 6.30. Saturdays and Sundays is from 3 to 5.30, so a little bit shorter. And also, Sunday through Thursday, they have a late night from 10 o'clock till close. Also, it should be known that it says that the weekends, you only get the happy hour in the bar area, the lounge area, and the patio. So we're up here on the second level. That's why, uh, No specials up yeah. here on the weekends. Yeah. <laughs> Ready, said, agree on the vibe. Brian always talks about how he had like a delicious steak listening to Nelly's Hot in Here blaring <laughs> in the background. That's great. Uh, Peaches Peace tonight, Chef Hard Smith's homecoming brunch for our upcoming trip. I'm hoping I can uh, change the time, but otherwise, I mean, it's a it's a great brunch over there too. We like homecoming. Also, we had an extensive interview with Art Smith here on the channel. If you want to go check it out, Art Smith, uh, former chef, to uh, he cooked for Obama, Oprah, has worked all around the country and the world. He's from Florida. We did a whole interview with him during the pandemic. If you want to go check that out here on the channel. Uh, it's so funny you mentioned the moons. So at uh, Splitsville and Homecoming, they have a moonshine or a water bottle you could buy and then refill for cheaper. For those who don't know, the owners of Splitsville own a piece of Art Smith's Homecoming. We have, oh, I, say, how many I have like four have? or five water bottles. I've never brought them back. Never. I don't know what I'm doing. Every time I get one, I'm like, this is the time I bring it back. No. No. But now if you ever want to hang out with me, just somebody bring the water bottles. I'll bring them. Please. I'll chain them to my waist. You. Yeah. Please. But the moonshines are very good over there at Art Smith's Homecoming. What movie does this remind you of? Mrs. Doubtfire. Yep. Totally Mrs. Doubtfire song. Immediately. The quesadilla was probably my favorite thing we had here. 
I would say. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah. Low burger was good, but Low I think good. that kind of surpassed it today with the, with the queso dip or whatever that is. Fantastic. Yeah. Big fan of the short rib quesadilla. Eduardo is here, says hello from Brazil. Lives in Rio de Janeiro, and your channel is awesome. Thanks, Eduardo. Thanks for being here, too. Appreciate that. And for saying that. Very kind. Of <laughs> Colleen. Colleen, why do Pete's dreams always make me so hungry? It doesn't matter whether I'm already eaten or not. I'm sorry. We try to bring you whatever you need to know. They, they saw me that I was on camera, so they were like, let's lower the lighting. He looks a little too bright. Colleen, thanks for posting. Uh, the links to the Instagram, the Discord, all that fun stuff are here in the chat. Thank you, Colleen. Andrew P., what's going on? Great to see you. I agree. There's nothing like going to a movie, Jay Thompson. I love going to the movies. Rosita said, see, she's glad you're here, that you make the videos for sure. Aww, this is why I like Rosita. when you're in the videos, Lauren. No one just wants this all the time. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. Boston Drew in the house. Hey, Andrew. Oh, you know what? I was talking to Kenny uh, Quick Kenny? Kenny? Quick Kenny. Or Sexy Kenny? Quick Kenny today. I mean, they're both quick and they're both quick, sexy, but okay. Quick Kenny. And he said he was able to get in uh, the wine and dine and do the two-course challenge as well. So he will be down here. He's definitely running a lot more than I've been running. You'll get there. I'm not worried about that. Well, uh, I'm worried about my fundraising. That'll be fine. We have time. Uh, if anyone wants to help support Lauren in fundraising, she's doing the 5K, 10K, and half marathon during the Wine and Dine weekend in November. And she's doing it for the National Down Syndrome Society again. So if you'd like to donate, the link is in our Discord and at the bottom of my description, I think. I don't know. Andrew says, hey, Pete, are you practicing for the mini golf tournament? I'll be bringing the trophy down to take it back. Andrew, you better bring that trophy, and I hope you've enjoyed your time with it because I'm taking it back. If anyone's in town the uh, end of September, early October, we're doing a little mini golf tournament. All are welcome to join. It's going to be a lot of fun. And come to HHM with us. If you're in the Discord, there's a Carney Crew meetup channel. Let us know when you're in town. Let's hang out. I feel like it is hot in here. It I'm is. Sweating. I'm getting very warm. That's why I keep adjusting my hat. I'm just like, ugh. I went to the gym this morning, and I literally was like, I've been sweating since I left Epcot yesterday. Like, my body did not cool down. You got to keep drinking water. I know. Nico the Greco <laughs> in the house. Bill Doherty, what's going on? Oh, we should talk about, guys. I forgot to mention this on yesterday's stream, and I really wanted to, is the water bottles. We have just a few left. If you haven't seen them, there's a bunch of pictures on the Discord. Uh, I talked about it in the little post I put out on the community channel today, in the Discord, and in the Patreon. But just a few left, so we're just trying to move the last few. If you haven't gotten one yet, I know some people texted me. They're looking for a few. Uh, they're awesome. They're these nice, tall, thin enough to fit in a standard cup holder or in a stroller cup holder. Keep your hots hots or cold colds. Adventures by Carney Logo. They're made by Dugout. Uh, they're $30, 60000000 million. They're just a massive company. They're super high quality. They're amazing. Uh, I'll be breaking one out later on. It's not on me right now. But, yes, get your mugs. We have a merch section in the Discord. We also have a website, adventuresbycarney.fun. You can grab them there as well. Or just ask Bill. Bill knows all. Oh, here we go. Brandy says we were at Tutu Tango recently. The Bloody Mary was pre-made, but very good. And then they brought the champagne with a whole rack of the different juices. There you okay. go. And ooh, they had pomegranate juice. That's what that was her favorite. Nice. Yes. Also, Colleen, thanks for posting my other links. Yes, I have a Twitter. It's your WDW guy. I have a TikTok. It's Adventures by Carney. We have a Patreon, Adventures by Carney. I have a Threads, official Carney. The Instagram's official Carney. And Lauren just plugged her link to uh, the National Down Syndrome Society if you want to donate. Terry, what's going on? Great to see you. And with that, I'm caught up in the chat. All right. Woo. Let's grab this check and let's go to the Haunted Mansion. I'm so I pumped after seeing the movie. that I could have more of your drink, but I don't like I'm it. saving it for later because I'm, so, <laughs> I'm so excited about it. I can't drink it. That is too spicy. That is. Woo. All right. Shall we grab the check? Yeah. Grab the check. Grab it, girl. What am I gonna wear later? I'm so excited. To go to dinner without me? Yeah, I'm going. It's a girls' night. That's what they all say. 
Take me out to dinner, not to the Haunted Mansion, and I'll wear some You're at SDK, one of the finest steakhouses in all of <laughs> Disney Springs. Well, you took me to the Barbie movie, and I looked good for the Barbie movie. You look very nice. You always look very nice. No. no, I'm excited for you. It'll be a nice night for you. Yeah, it'll be nice. I hope I'm hungry. By then, I should be. You'll be hungry by the time you hit the car. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get in for another one of this. It, you Ooh, can smell yeah, it. Yeah, I smell you it. Can smell it. There's no way you're okay with that in the sandwich you were dying yesterday. There's no way. <laughs> that sandwich was hot yesterday. So is that. That's hot, but like. Wow. Ah, I'm okay with it. Wow. I, you know what it is? I think as I expected it. It says it's spicy. It says there's jalapeno. The one yesterday, when I saw Italian hot beef sandwich, I thought they just meant I, that it was a hot sandwich, yes. not like a cold or a room temperature. I agree with you. I, I didn't know they meant thing. like scorching. And also, all of that genaria, gendera. This is a great mix. Sorry. Anyway, all of that stuff fell onto one bite. I scooped it out. I know. It's like if you put all the jalapeno from this whole drink on one sip all at once. I would honestly, I would have that sandwich again. I would just scrape some of the stuff off or even it out. Although the au jus is very salty too. And that's coming from me and I like salt. I know. If you missed it yesterday, we were talking about, we did the opening day food and wine. Long streams. I know if you made it through all seven hours, kudos to you. You're amazing. I can't believe that was seven hours. Over seven hours. We did seven hours and 20 minutes yesterday. And uh, I don't know, probably around the halfway point, but it's all a blur to me. Uh, we had the hot Italian beef sandwich, and that's what we're talking about, the, the heat. It was right during, before, middle of Voices of Liberty, if yeah. you're searching through the video. If you want to see his reaction, which I thought, I was like, is there something wrong? Like, it took me by surprise. Know what happened. Because you surprised. never do that on camera, yeah. especially. Also, JoJo put out his video. I'm on his video, too. Oh, I didn't see it. like, 10-minute mark. But... How long is his video? Uh, it's short. He, like, oh. edited the whole day into 12 minutes or something. Okay. Or 15 minutes, something like that. <laughs> Would you rather that beverage or the pickle Would milkshake? Would I rather have this, this or the pickle milkshake? This. I would rather have this. But if the pickle milkshake... Had alcohol in it? Had alcohol. But what alcohol? We talked about this yesterday. We don't know. I'm trying to think of one. We don't know. Just infuse it. I'm trying to think. Somebody mentioned whiskey. Whiskey could work, but then I wouldn't really... It wouldn't be a me thing, and I'm not anti-whiskey. I just... Yeah. I... I haven't grown into whiskey. Yet. I was thinking gin because of the dill, but then it wouldn't go with the milk. You know what I was thinking, but it's not pickle at all, but it would really cut the pickle taste and go well with the milk side, but color it really cool, is Midori. It's very sweet, but it would give yeah. it like this really bright green taste. The sweetness of the Midori, because it's melon, would go well with the milkshake. It would look green, and then if you just gave it like a dill garnish or a little bit to cut it, so you would have like that sweet and savory. Okay. And then you have a little bit of that brininess, so like you have sweet, Salty, acid, and then the whipped cream fat. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> Bill's already betting against me mini golf. You know what? <laughs> Good. I like being an underdog. <laughs> Shelly says you looked awesome at the Barbie movie, Lauren. Oh, thank you. Is the drink toxic? toxic? Yes. Hi, Krista Coachman. So, good afternoon. Do I hear Britney Spears toxic in yes. You do. With She's little, loving the background uh, music. There is a pickle vodka. <laughs> Everybody's saying vodka, vodka. Yeah. See, there vodka is a goes vodka. well with every, That's what I said. It yesterday. would be heavy on the pickle. You like it? Oh, right. I mean, to be honest, you could put a shot of Jameson in there because yeah. it's like a pickle bag. Uh, it's not for him. Well, goes together. Like, I'm not saying for me, I'm just saying in general. <laughs> Look at your cute face. Uh, it's cute. Thank you. Anyway, we talked. Uh, we said we were going to talk about this, so let's talk about this. Uh, right now is the Disney Springs Flavors of Florida, presented by Corksicle. 
It's been running since July 1st, and it goes until August 13th. If you see our waitress, by the way, we just yeah, I don't know give her a friendly little, hey, how are you? Uh, you can discover Inspired Eats at over 30 locations, and if you open it up, they show you the Florida flavors and from each restaurant. So you got Enzo's Hideaway, the Edison, Dockside, all different orange and citrus, either drinks or food items. I mean, and a bunch from different locations. So there's three at Jock Lindsay's, Morimoto's got three, Haleo has five. Deluxe Burger has two chicken guys, got a Sunshine Milkshake, City Works has a little something, a little grouper. Amaret Patisserie, The Boathouse, Art, Chef Arsenal's Homecoming, and it gives you a map of where everything is. Give me a paper cut. Cutting me with cardboard. House of Blues, Gideon's, Polite Pig, Pizza Ponte. Ooh. Pizza Ponte. <laughs> Doesn't really sound like my kind of thing, but it's interesting. The Pizza Ponte is the Pizza Diavolo. It's got uh, salami calabrese, chili. Gives it a robust kick for impeccably tempered local Orlando petal honey for a harmonious blend of sweet and spicy. I don't know if I like honey on my pizza. No. Salt and Straw, Splitsville, the Tea and Spice Exchange, Frontera, the Ganachery, Enzo's, the Edison, Everglazed. STK's got a few. They have a cube in here. Sunshine Churros, Terralina, T Rex, Raboli Il Gelato, Wine Bar George, Yasake. She's done for the day. Anyway, if you're in town and you're here at Disney Springs before August 13th, pick yourself up one of these and you can find a bunch of new and interesting food items. Well, yeah. new for this year, but then they go away August 13th. Woo. All right, well, I got to get out of here, Lauren. <laughs> See you later. No, <laughs> I also got to use more water before I finish this. Both our waters are empty. Yeah. Can I have some of your water? Yeah, and she was very quick in the beginning to fill up again, but... She's busy. She's busy. She's busy. It's okay. <sighs> exactly. Your face is getting redder. Your face is always red. It's getting redder. <laughs> you must really need it because you don't like drinking out of a straw either. Straws gross me out. Well, we're usable ones. It also limits your intake, and I like to drink things quickly. I got you. I know. It's all or nothing, baby. Ain't nobody got time for straws. All right. Here you go. All right. So, game plan. We're going to pay the check here at SDK. We hope you enjoyed our quick little stop. We got out of the movies uh, right here at AMC at Disney Springs. We saw it in the, the big Dolby Theater. It was awesome. I think, we're, I think we're all set when you are. Yes, okay. everything was awesome. Thank you very much. Glenn, I posted it again, okay? Thank you. Are you on our live? Yeah. We are live, yeah. We're headed to the Magic Kingdom next. To watch the fireworks? We're actually, uh, since we just saw the Haunted Mansion here, we're going to go ride the Haunted Mansion. The movie came out. The movie yeah. came out today. It was really good. It was really good. Yeah. So now really I have to go ride it. So we said, let's do the Haunted Mansion to the Haunted Mansion and then I'm going to Epcot. It's a power day. Listen, it's so many good, uh, new movies. I know. Yes. Did you see Barbie? I just saw it. It's so good. I love it. It was very good. Like yeah. Oh, That's coming out too. And then uh, also Oppenheimer was really good. Yeah. yeah it's it was more for me. Yeah. Barbie was for you, although I thought it was good too. Oppenheimer yeah, is for me. I loved it. Yeah. yeah. Hi, Ken. Oh, my God. I got Hi, Ken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Here's the dining room we're sitting in. <laughs>
That was very kind. Thank you very much. Let me do it all right here. So the way it works here at SDK, they're fancy. When you open this up, ooh, there's your check. You can adjust your tip. And then you pay, you put your card in yourself on the bottom. Don't put that in the camera. <laughs> I'm not. Okay. Uh, and then if you want, you can round to the next dollar, which I always do. And uh, yeah, that's how you pay. And also she was very nice. She took off the salmon. Even though we didn't ask to do that, we were just giving us a little bit of feedback. So I thought that was very nice. So uh, our total, so we got one, two, three drinks, and one, two, three, four, five food items came to 44 bucks. So not bad. Excited. I'm excited to go on a Disney bus. I'm gonna feel like on vacation. Can you just uh, mute that again, really quick? Yes, I can. Hold on one sec. All right, are we ready to rock and roll? Bill's paid. I know, right? Yeah. All right, I'm headed to the buses. Oh, I just slammed that open. Whoops. All right, you're going that way or are you going this way? I'll go your way. I'll, I'll walk with you. I'll give you the car keys, right? Yeah. Yeah, sorry about the mute before, guys. We were just kind of discussing our plan for the night because I'm not going to see Lauren until after she gets home from dinner. So I'm to make sure I had her game plan down. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get home from Epcot. I'll figure something out. Hogwash. I'm not worried about it. It's Disney. This is one of our picture spots. Yep. I feel like every time we're here, this is where we take a picture. All right, I'm pumped. Now I feel well fed. 
Got a little beverage in me. A little spice in me. Got a little spice on my lips. From the Haunted Mansion to the Haunted Mansion. And it's gonna be fun too because we're gonna take a bus. I'm taking a bus there. Then I'm taking a monorail to Epcot. Haven't done that in forever. And you know what that means too? We're gonna get a Moana construction update on the monorail because they're about to open. So we're gonna get a little drive-by on the monorail for the Moana area. So you guys are in for a fantastic stream and we're just getting started. What is this? Oh, that's what that is? I didn't know. Well, the prices are a little high and they do, they are running two shows, I think six nights a week or something like that. I think, yeah, I think they're doing 12 shows a week or something crazy like that. It is good. If you haven't seen Drawn to Life, that is the Cirque du Soleil show here at Disney Springs. Previously was Lanuba. It's very cute. Uh, they worked with Walt Disney. Uh, and the story is about, well, I don't want to spoil anything, but let's say uh, a Disney illustrator or artist, their drawings are drawn to life. <laughs> All right. That was a great I don't want to give too much away. I'm saying I'm, I'm trying to keep it with a whole joke. I was waiting for your reaction, but you were looking away. All right. Now I'll have a great time. Stay. All right, drive safe. Keep me posted. All right, can you, uh, you have a water bottle in there? Yeah, I put, a, I put a water bottle in my back. Yeah, it's in my backpack. All right, everyone. Lauren's taking off. Be safe. Drive safe. Check in with me in the chat if I'm live. Okay. Otherwise, if you text me, I'm going to assume it's an emergency. All right, be safe. Let's take a Disney bus. Who remembers the last time we took a Disney bus from Disney Springs? That was a fun stream. Now I'm in vacation mode. Had a little STA, felt fancy. Now I'm getting on a Disney bus to go to the Magic Kingdom. Woohoo! Although it looks like I'm not going directly to the Magic Kingdom. So where's Contemporary? Number seven. Seven is the number. We're going to have to go to the Contemporary and walk on over. It also looks like Disney. Uh, they have the third largest bus fleet. In Pretty decent. Yes, they've made a deal with the Disney company since their cast members and vehicles are all refueled there. They keep prices pretty reasonable. So where you think there might be some price ga uh, gouging, it's uh, normally pretty respectable. There's one here. There's one that's just outside Disney's Boardwalk Resort. There's one that's right outside the Magic Kingdom. Let me think. One there, one there, one there. Is there another one? I think there's a fourth one. And thank you so much to Rosita for the super chat. She said, thank Dawn for this one, Pete. We love you guys. Just a woman of my word. Well, thank you so much, Rosita. That is so kind. Really appreciate that. And while we're here hanging out at the bus stop, let's read some chat. That could work too. All right, so going back to the pickle milkshake, the jalapeno vodka, Sarah Garvey, not a bad idea. Uh, Brandy says Old Smoky is a pickle moonshine and it's not good. Do not recommend. Jack Sparrow says I need rum. That checks out. Dawn says I drink jalapeno margaritas frequently. I think it goes well with tequila. I, I Honestly, the spiciness with tequila does go well together. That's why I always say too, like I don't mind getting that being cut with watermelon. I'm not a big watermelon person, but I think it cuts the spiciness and the tequila well. 
Haas and Terrell, what's going on? It says, hi there, guys. Glenn, where is Lauren's donation link? I think she just posted it in the chat. There it is, right there. She posted it twice. Thank you so much, Glenn. Thanks to everybody who's uh, helping out, Lauren. And our next stop is the Magic Kingdom, but we're going to go to the Contemporary and get dropped off there and walk in that side entrance since there's no direct bus to the Magic Kingdom. Yeah, with uh, tax and tip, our, our check came to 57, which again, is not bad. We had three signature cocktails and we had four small plates. For Disney pricing, not bad at all. Robert D says, I haven't been on a Disney bus in like 16 years. I know. I, it's always like a special thing for me. I'm getting excited about it. Even though, you know, when you're doing it all the time, back when we used to vacation down here instead of live here, sometimes waiting for a bus for a while could become a little frustrating. But it's exciting for me right now. David Cattell says, I love that credit card processing device. I remember sitting in a restaurant waiting ages for a waitress to process my credit card and bring it back. What a good idea. Wish they did this before. Yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> Thank you, Kelly, and I appreciate it. Headed to the... And we're going to get that construction update. Yeah, this is going to be a good ride. It'll be a nice stream. we got a lot planned. we got some portable chargers in my pocket. <laughs> Dawn, there's uh, no <laughs> alcohol in my person. And yes, that is what I know what you're referencing. The last time we were here, we wanted to do a bus bar crawl. I'll explain it in a little bit, but uh, I got stopped at security here because I was planning. So this is back like after the pandemic. They only had the resorts open. I think that's when we did it. We were like, let's do, we've done a monorail bar crawl. We've done a Skyliner bar crawl. Let's do a Disney bus bar crawl. We made up our own rules because it didn't exist. So what we were going to do is come here. We put a few seltzers in the backpack and we came here. And we said, we're just going to get on the first bus that pulls up and go to that resort. We'll have a drink at the bar there. Then we're going to go outside and get on the first bus that pulls up again. Whatever park that goes to, we'll get off there, have a drink, then go out. Same thing. Whatever the first bus that always pulls up, that's the bus we get on and it'll hopefully take us to a bunch of different resorts we'll see different resorts different parks uh but what slowed us down is we did bring some seltzers for the rides on the bus and when we got to security here at the orange garage they were like you can't bring uh 12 seltzers into disney springs what are you thinking i was like no no no, we're not even going to springs we're going on a bus and they were like no way uh so i was with faris he took the the phone he walked away while i talked to security and I was like, listen, honestly, guys, I can see the buses. If you guys could just hold the backpack, walk me there. I was like, we just would really like to just go to the resort. I promise you we're not going to Springs. And one guy, very nice uh, security uh, person, was like, you know what? I'll just walk with him. So he walked me over, put me and Ferris on a bus, and we started our Disney bus bar crawl. It was a good time. That was going way back. If you guys want to go see a way back live stream. But fun times. That was a, <laughs> a real fun day. Oh, we're lagging. All right, let's fix that. Is the lag better? I have a charger in my backpack. As soon as I get on the bus, I'm going to charge my phone. No worries. Thank you, though, Brandy. And again, big thank you to Rosita for the super chat. So kind. Yes, Colleen, that was the stream with the backpack full of seltzers. <laughs> Big shout out to Glenn and Suzanne for donating. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rosita, for the super chat. Has the lag stopped? Also, shout out to Glenn Ritchie for the purchase of the tumblers. Bought two tumblers today. Thank you so much. We got a few, just a few tumblers left. If you're looking for those water bottles, keep your hot coffee and tea hot. Keep your beverages nice and cold in the summer. It fits into your cup holders, fits into the strollers, and support the channel. Robert D says, that sounds like a good crawl. We got to do that. Yeah, we should do it again. Glenn Ritchie's arriving in Chattanooga. Well, have a good time in Chattanooga, Glenn. Thanks again for hanging out with us. Jay Thompson is from Springs. I like to take the boat to Port Orleans and then from there, bus to the park. It's actually, I was thinking about doing that. The only problem is now the boats only are from the opposite side. They only take off from that walkway that's all the way on the east end down by uh, the Christmas store. 
So it was going to be a heck of a walk. I thought this would be a little faster and a little more fun. Plus, we never, since that Disney bus stream, I don't think we've taken a bus from here. Okay, stream looks better. Excellent. Thank you so much. So if you're coming in late, we've gotten a few things done so far today. We got uh, we saw the Haunted Mansion. It was awesome. Highly recommend, especially if you're a fan of the ride. They do it justice. I don't think anyone's going to argue that. I don't think they left anything out. There's a lot of cool little references. I kind of want to see it again just to like pick up on more of the references. There were so many times I kept like hitting Lauren's leg, like look, 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 look. Uh, she's like, I get it. I get. I see that. I get it. Uh, there are some obvious ones, some very subtle ones. I'm not going to give any spoilers or tell you uh, what happens in the movie, but again, if you're not a Haunted Mansion ride person, or if you've never even been on the ride, you'll still think I think it's a cute movie, but you're going to love it if you love the Haunted Mansion. So I said, hey, if we're going to go see the movie, uh, even before I saw the movie, I was like, I'm going to want to do the Haunted Mansion, and now I especially want to do it. So I can't wait to head over to the Magic Kingdom and get on that ride. <laughs> Jay Thompson, I need that walk to the boat after Wolfgang Puck. Uh, that's for sure. Helder, what's going on? Lovely parking lot. Well, we're waiting for a Disney bus. You know, we don't call this a parking lot. We call this nostalgia. You can smell the buses through your screens. Robert G., I love that too. Bus park, uh, bingo curl. Pick a random number. That's the bus stop you take. Bill, I don't know if my mom got it yet. She called me while I was uh, live, and I ignored it. <laughs> so I got to call mom back. All right. Let's see. We got the boardwalk beach and yacht. We got the spirit of adventure. Where's our bus? Where's our bus? I could have just had Lauren take me there and drop me off too. We had time for that, but I thought this would be more magical. Are you feeling the magic? Hopefully you're feeling the magic. Just want to say thanks again to everybody who tuned in yesterday. Really fun time. We're going to be doing more mega streams in the future. I kind of miss them. They take it. They're a large time commitment, but it's just uh, it's a lot of fun being on no timetable, having the whole day, and just getting to chat with so many of you, seeing new things, trying new things, not having to like be somewhere at a certain time. See, there you go. Thanks, Colleen. He says this is definitely giving me some Disney magic. If that's a Polynesian bus, I, should, I could also take that and go to the park. Is that the Polynesian bus? Hold on. Let's see if I can run down there. Is that... The, I'm just going to try and sneak by. I'm sorry. Let's see. Because the Polynesian will get me there, too. Does that say Polynesian? No, Port Orleans, Riverside, and French Quarter. Which I could have just taken that too at this point, but contemporary, I'll just walk right in. Let me just check. What is that down there? Typhoon Lagoon, French Quarter. Okay. It's not like we're not all going to fit on this bus. That's why I kind of ran away quick. the one behind me let's see grand flow and poly so i could take either one we could take nine or seven all right while we're waiting you know me i like to gamble but also i need to be providing content right over here let's see if we can fix this real quick fly it was laggy a little bit Somebody snuck the Wi-Fi on. We've been finding the streams are much clearer when there's no Wi-Fi. So we turn the Wi-Fi off. Let's go check this out while we're waiting for a bus. Look at those two numbers over there in my eye. 
Look at those two numbers over there in my eye. So, which resorts have you been to and which ones do you want to go to? So, which resorts have you been to and which ones do you want to go to? I've stayed at all the All-Stars uh, and Pop. I've also stayed at French Quarter and then just recently, the Boardwalk. All the other resorts, obviously, I've been to. I've hung out with people who have been staying there, but never me, myself. When I came down on vacation, it was usually just for a day or two, so or three tops. So we were in and out of the parks all day long. It was really just a bed. So this walkway will also take you to the buses since we're walking away from them. Let me just make sure that bus is going where I want it to go. Dun dun dun. It's making the turn. Okay, we're good. So, but I like this walkway because uh, to the left is Wolfgang Puck, but to the right, you have this beautiful art. I feel like many don't appreciate this little walkway. And it pops out right over here. Like I said, right past the covered area, but right by Chicken Guy and Wolfgang. This area is super cool too, uh, especially during the holidays. But what's neat is when you're here, look up, you can see some of the birds and the rafters. Looks like you got, I think that's Thumper over there. Fun little details. And that's why we always say when you're here at Disney, look up, look down, look all around. Ooh, cocktails. Maybe we'll have one more before Magic Kingdom. Yeah, we got time. Let's do it. Oh, okay. No worries. Thanks. All right. Ixnay on the drink nay. Let's go check on our bus again. I normally wouldn't recommend walking away from your bus line, but in the middle of the day, it's, uh, let's see, 5.05. You can catch a bus. I don't think it's going to fill up. If anything, people are coming to Springs for their dinner reservations. Not so much leaving Springs. Yep, two corrals waiting for a bus. If anyone's in town tonight, I'll be going to hang out with my Disney friends and cast members at the Atlantic Dance Hall tonight. We're throwing a little Haunted Mansion themed dance party. So we're keeping the Haunted Mansion vibes going. So I will be there tonight. And here comes our bus. Look at that timing. What do you think? Will there's Lodge first or Contemporary first? And if you know, no cheating. This guy coming in with a big turn here. It says Wilderness Lodge and Contemporary, and it's way out there. Sir? Uh, ma'am? Uh, friend? There it goes. There it goes. Uh, boy. Oh, boy. I think she's gonna realize that it's over here. Old Key West has had two buses come. I mean, they're getting the service. There she is. She's waving to us. Oh, hey, guys. Sorry about that. Oh, I know what they're doing. A little driver change. Shift change right over by that fence. So when the drivers switch shifts, they're going to pull up over there. You're going to see uh, she's going to come out, do a quick inspection, sign off. The new driver's going to do an inspection, sign off. Make sure the vehicle is in the same shape they found it. At least there's a nice breeze today. <laughs> David Long, that bus stops for nobody. Yep, Robert D called it. They were changing patterns, Ch changing drivers. 
I do that often here, everyone. I, uh, I read comments while I say it, and then some kind, sometimes I combine words. <laughs> Jordan Garris says, we like that episode of SpongeBob where he always misses the bus when he wasn't at the station. David says, when it makes sense to do the shift change at the platform. Um, I've seen it done at the platform, but uh, I don't know. Maybe like if there's a concern the driver has, and they don't want to talk in front of the guests, they go over there. I'm not sure. Daniel says, I've stayed at Fort Wilderness. That's, I love Fort Wilderness. I actually, I have technically slept there overnight as well. It wasn't my reservation though. A lot of fun nights over at the fort. This bus is refueling its pixie dust. Izzo, what's going on? What'd you miss? So we came out of the Haunted Mansion movie. It was awesome. Shows you some of the fanfare and promotional stuff they had out. Then we went over to STK for their happy hour quick, just to grab a little cocktail and a quick bite to eat before we head over to Magic Kingdom to go ride the Haunted Mansion. <laughs> and then after the Haunted Mansion, I think we're going to try and uh, hop on a monorail. We're doing a, a stream of transportation and just random things today. Uh, and we're going to go over to Epcot, do a little bit more food and whining. And uh, Michelle War goes over there hanging out. So we're going to go try and meet up with her. Lauren was here with us, but she had to take off. She's got dinner with the ladies tonight um, you know what if there's room on this Polynesian bus I'm hopping on let's do all the Disney transportation let's take a bus to a boat and then do the monorail later how's it going So look at this, we got everything we're doing today. We did. We already saw the Haunted Mansion, we're gonna go on the ride. And then later to end our stream, we'll be at the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival, presented by Corksicle. I'll tell you one thing, this AC feels fantastic. in the chat what's going on p we're taking a disney bus i miss them disney buses are so exciting kelly we did try the pickle milkshake yesterday it was interesting uh the way i described it was it wasn't awful but would i order it a second time probably not uh we also were talking about movies earlier crazy week for us. Lauren and I in the last seven days. So last Saturday night we saw Oppenheimer in Georgia at the world's tallest IMAX. We saw Barbie this week here at AMC and then we just saw Haunted Mansion. Great week of movies. Honestly, I liked all three. Big fan. And here we go. Our adventure has begun. If you guys aren't subscribed to the Pete McDevitt channel, it is a fantastic channel. He is a, my man, cut from the same cloth. I just, I want everybody to win. I support everybody as long as they're good people and promote kindness and bring you all that positive, good energy on YouTube. 
and I love promoting channels like that. And Pete does it all the time. He had me on. He's had so many channels come through his page and his uh, just what he does. I mean, through all of his socials and his YouTube and everything, he really just loves helping other channels. He's an awesome person. Go check out the Pete McDevitt channel. It's a great way to find a bunch of other channels if you're looking to mix up your Disney content. Obviously, I would love for you uh, to subscribe here. Hit that bell, turn on all notifications. But there's enough love, I think, to go around. And everybody loves... I think it's fun to have different takes on Disney and everyone's got a little different uh, vibe of their channel. Like, we just don't do Disney. We do Universal, SeaWorld, as well as other adventures around the country and our travel and... We like craft breweries and stuff like that. But yeah, Pete McDevitt channel, great channel. Jordan, what did you think of Oppenheimer in the IMAX? Sean S., what's going on? We are on a Disney bus headed to the Magic Kingdom, but since there's no direct bus there from Disney Springs, we are going to go to the Polynesian and take a boat over to the Magic Kingdom. So today we'll be taking a bus now, a boat to the Magic Kingdom, and then we're going to take a monorail over to Epcot for food and wine. It's a power-packed day. David Cattell says, the movie Oppenheimer about the physicist. Yeah, so it's about uh, Oppenheimer is the scientist who is credited with uh, basically inventing the atomic bomb Very, very uh, crazy movie when you think of it, it's wild. Uh, Kelly says, do you think the Haunted Mansion is better at Disneyland or Disney World? Oh boy. Well, I'll say this, because I like, it's hard for me to pick, right? I'll say I really think that it's super cool that the Haunted Mansion does a holiday overlay at Disneyland every year. I think it's super cool. I think it keeps it really fun, interesting. But I love our Haunted Mansion. It's so much fun. I mean, they really just they had tons of room to do what they wanted to do when they built it here. It's really amazing when you just see the facade and if you I'm not saying you want to ruin the magic, but if you ever like looked at Google Earth of just how big the Haunted Mansion attraction is compared to the little facade, but the facade is great. And there's some differences, like you walk past certain things in the Haunted Mansion on the West Coast where you're in the Doom Buggy out here. And I think that's why the movie is super neat. Again, I'm not gonna give any spoilers, but I think they hit all the elements of both Haunted Mansion, whether it's you're walking through it in a Doom Buggy, and they may take them a little out of sequence, but they get every single small detail. I don't think they missed a single thing from either attraction. At some point it's in the movie, uh, whether it's super quick or a little Easter egg or it's a whole line or a whole set. I'm a big fan. And the question I keep getting, and I know a lot of people are gonna keep asking, Haunted Mansion, uh, overall review in, in a quick recap here is, if you like the ride, you're gonna love the movie. If you've never been on the ride, the movie I think will still be fun. I think it's a, a good time. I think it's well cast. Uh, it's a fun movie. It's, it's a good time. As far as it goes for children, if your kids can handle the Haunted Mansion and they're familiar with it and they didn't like come out of there screaming, crying, then they should be fine with the movie. If they were afraid of the Haunted Mansion ride, there's some moments in the movie that they might be afraid as well. I will say it starts scarier and gets easier. So. If you get a little bit of that sticker shock in the first 20 to 30 minutes, the next, it's a two hour movie, the next 90 minutes after the first half hour, I think are more fun. There's more, uh, a few more jokes, a few more funny moments. Uh, it gets a little more witty, but all your favorite stuff's there. Exactly, Rosita. Are you not entertained? Jordan said, I'm looking forward to see the holiday overlay when I go in December, my first time at Disneyland. That's so awesome, Jordan. The first time I went to Disneyland ever, uh, I also went in December. I went by myself. I couldn't find anyone to go with. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go. I found cheap flights and they were on Walt Disney's birthday. So I thought I, that was special. 
So since it was just me, I booked uh, Walking in Walt's Footsteps tour on his birthday at Disneyland. And not only was that cool, but my tour guide had been at Disneyland since she was a teenager and actually knew Walt Disney, interacted with him, talked to him. So she knew, well, not that she was like close, like they were best friends, but she's like, he would come through the park in the mornings and say hi and check in with us and talk with us. So it was really cool to have a tour guide that actually spoke and shook hands with Walt Disney, you know? Especially because that tour is so cool about walking in his steps and then ultimately you finish in his apartment, which has been redone which was uh, a ton of fun too. I've told a lot of stories about that tour. Uh, if you ever want to go back and listen to them. I don't know if they're all good for this bus ride right now. We're on a crowded bus. So I'm trying not to be too loud. I don't want to rock the bus. You know what I mean? Izzo, I have no idea what that message even means. I'm trying to read it in my head and out loud, and it sounds like you brought a full bar to the movie. <laughs> Kelly X is Constance Hatchaway in the movie, and yes, she is. Also, if you want to know some of the other names of characters or names that may have been created for the movie, if you uh, want to brush up on your Imagineers that help create the Haunted Mansion, they also have some nods to the Imagineers who are integral in creating the Haunted Mansion. So that would too, a little shout out to them. Sean S. said, are you going to any of the Halloween parties? I believe I am. Uh, actually, I have to talk to Daniel tomorrow on the Traveler. We were talking about going together, maybe opening night. Uh, there's a few other nights I might go. It's just very, very expensive. Um, and I'm not saying I'm not going to do it. I just don't know when and how often, but... For sure, we'll be at one. Uh, we're gonna we're we're gonna try for opening night. We did that last year to stream for all of you. Or maybe we went the second night because opening night rained out. But we usually like to go the first or second night and uh, live stream it for all of you. And then I usually like to go a second time um, where I can kind of put the camera down and run around like a maniac. Uh, but yeah, we, we we're gonna shoot for being in the first or second one. Show you everything and all the exclusive things. We love the boot to you party. So yeah, make sure you're subscribed. You got that bell on all notifications so you don't miss any of the Halloween parties because believe it or not, Halloween starts in less than two weeks here at Disney. Isn't that crazy? Halloween party starts in less than two weeks and we're in July. Oh, that makes way more sense, Izzo. Way more sense. Oh, that's awesome. Shelly's coming down for opening night. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna try and do opening night. We'll see what happens. I got to pull some strings and go out to the old money tree. But we'll, uh, we're, I'd say there's a pretty good chance we're there. But I don't like promising things in case something comes up. Those uh, 10 days in August coming up, I have like this 10-day stretch that are just super busy too because I want to do a lot of streams, but there's a lot of like the Halloween party. I think I'm going to be doing an H2O party either once or twice with different people. Uh, I think we're going to be getting Cabanas. It's also my buddy is getting married. or oh, I'm sorry, renewing his vows here at Disney. I'm the officiant for that, but also he's staying with me one night, like the night before. And then we have like, I don't know, like 15, 20 of our friends and family coming down or his friends and family but i've known him for over 20 years so like they're like family to me i love his family so they're all coming down so it's gonna be crazy kind of like august 10th through the 20th plus ali and kevin are in town um a lot of people are in town between august 10th and 20th so it's gonna be a whirlwind <laughs> It just moves so fast. I mean, it's exciting. You gotta love life, but I mean, I can't believe uh, Lauren's headed back to school down here in Florida. They go back to school the first week of August. Uh, her summer's ending. We got a packed August. 
Uh, also, football starting, which is very exciting. Most years, uh, you know, I'd say, oh, football starting. I love football, but as a Jets fan, you didn't have a lot to look forward to. This year, I am psyched. So, pumped for the football season. I'll be talking a lot of football on the Pete McDevitt show as well. So, he's here hanging out with us in the chat. If you're just joining, we're here on a Disney bus headed to the Polynesian because we're going to take a boat over to the Magic Kingdom. We're just doing a ton of transportation here at Disney. We're going to go ride the Haunted Mansion. And then the plan is to uh, jump on a monorail and head over to Epcot and do a little more food and whining and see our friend Michelle. Busy, busy day. Uh, it's kind of crazy. The three movies I did see in the last week, Barbie, Oppenheimer, and Haunted Mansion, I would say I liked them all very, very much, but for all different reasons. Like, it would be hard to rank the three of them because they're such different kind of movies. Like, literally, on a triangle, they would be separate corners, but they were all very, very good. I'd probably, in my eyes, give all three a 9 out of 10, but I know, like, my friends who would see Haunted Mansion who aren't the biggest Disney fans might say it's not even close uh but because i'm a huge haunted mansion fan it just really really was a, an awesome movie it's one of those movies i really want to see like three or four more times this is the road to head down to old key west as well as the other entrance to saratoga springs which is the resort you see when you look across disney springs you could also take a boat from disney springs to old key west we've done that in a bunch of streams before and if you were to continue down this road straight ahead, you have Port Orleans, French Quarter, and Riverside up to the right. If you continued straight on this road, we're going to make a left to go to the theme parks. But if you continue straight on this road, that's also where uh, you could drop off your pets here at Disney. They have a little pet hotel, your furry friends. And then if you continue going straight, you could run right into Golden Oak, the mansion community where all the homes are... I think start at a million, go up to several millions. And at the end of that road is the Four Seasons, which is beautiful. Also now has the Michelin starred restaurant up top. It's a great restaurant, lucky enough to be taken there uh, last year or two years ago, it was fit great. If you didn't go into Golden Oak and you made a left at the end of this road, that would take you kind of the back way towards Fort Wilderness and you can head to Fort Wilderness. And also you can get to the Magic Kingdom that way too. But we're making a left because this is going to take us to the Poly. We hopped on this bus because it was the first bus out of the uh, Polynesian Grand Flow Contemporary Loop that pulled up. Peaches uh, is going to the Halloween party at 822 and so will John Thorne. Yeah, so that's another night I would... I love going on nights where there's a lot of you guys there. Love hanging out with all of you. And if we've never met or if you're here in the parks and you see me, please come up and say hi. I love putting faces to names, getting to know people. Just please introduce yourself, even if we've met 10 times, just so I remember. Because uh, I'm very lucky and blessed in the respect of I get to meet so many cool people. Sean, we are streaming uh, just on the iPhone 13. Nice and easy. I mean, I say that, but if for any reason the picture does get a little blurry or stops or freezes, uh, try refreshing on your end first. But if it doesn't fix it, let me know and I will switch it up. Whether we're going to use uh, changing. I got a few different options now in my tool bag that I, we figured out lately have worked a lot better. Wait a minute, the Hatbox Ghost is here in the chat, said hi there. I will use my powers to not have you lag tonight. Excellent, thank you, Hatbox Ghost. You know, I, I wasn't sure if I should be terrified that the Hatbox Ghost was here in the chat or not, but this is a good sign. We're getting the positive vibes from even the Hatbox Ghost. It's a Haunted Mansion kind of day. OK Vision says, it's going to be my partner's first time at Disney World in September. I'm so excited to take them around and show them around. Isn't that the best? 
I remember Lauren said she wasn't the biggest Disney fan when we started dating, and I was like, yeah, but have you ever gone with someone that knows what they're doing or is a Disney adult? Because I can take you around and really show you the world. You know what I mean? And uh, we came down for my birthday at the end of August, and she, we had a great... I forget if it was either one day or two, but we're watching. I told her she should get a, an annual pass. I'm like, we're going to come back. I'm like, we got to come back for, you know, like the fall and boys to men and uh, November and the holidays. I'm like, you're going to want to come back. We could do quick weekends here. I think we were like already planning another trip. I'm like, just buy an annual pass. Like, you're going to want to do it. And she's like, we'll see. We'll see. And then as soon as happily ever ended and there's tears in her eyes, she's like, all right, I'm going to buy the annual pass. It's like, all right. Uh, Sean says, do you think shoulder plushies are worth the price of $22.99? I think whatever makes you happy, and if you can afford it, then go for it. As long as it's not hurting anyone, then do what makes you happy. Everyone's got a different thing that they collect or do. I mean, some people would think I'm ridiculous. I probably have... Uh, you know, 50 different magic bands. Today, I couldn't find my Haunted Mansion one. I was so upset I couldn't find it. So instead, I just still went like Haunted Mansion colors. But this was the uh, Disney Wine and Dine Half Marathon weekend from 2021. I thought this was a cool one. <sighs> Can't show the other side. I do like that if your magic bands had like special powers, they're finally doing them again, which is really nice when you scan in, there was a while where like every magic band would just do the same thing when you scanned it. But now if it, uh, it was a limited edition magic band, a lot of them had a special pattern with the colors or a song or sound effect. Like my favorite one is my Epcot uh, 40th, which when you scan it, it says reflections of earth. Ah, it's the best. Okay, Vision says, uh, me and my partner are dressing up as Piglet and Pooh for the Halloween party. That's so much fun. Yeah, for those who don't know, you're not really allowed to wear costumes in the Magic Kingdom unless you are a child. Uh, except for the Halloween party, you're allowed to wear costumes, so it's very special. A lot of families go all out. It's super cool to see, and people get very creative. It's awesome. Hadbox Ghost says, rumors swirling you'll be coming to see me tonight. My spirits will be there, but I'm not visible quite yet. Ha! I love that there's a hat post here. This is amazing. Who's watching us? <laughs> Izzo, that's what I'm saying about my bourbon collection. I'm not hurting anyone. Well, there you go. Good for you. I love it. There was a while when I collected all kinds of weird stuff like that. I had like a bunch of different sockies at one point in my 20s. I was a, when I was big, big into wine in my late 20s, like I was in part of like four wine clubs. I, I probably had. I don't know, 150 bottles of wine, cellar at my place. And then I was like, this is crazy. So we just started drinking them. Still got a bunch of good ones laying around, but not nearly the numbers that I used to. Sockies are fun. They're a good time. A little rice wine. So we're passing the ticket and trans, or the, I'm sorry, the transportation and ticket center, or the ticket and transportation center, the TTC. That's where your buses and Ubers pick you up. And this is where we're going over the bridge. So you'd walk in or come in on the trams. And that is where you would normally pick up the monorail, the boat or ferry, um, or you could take a bus over to the Magic Kingdom. But we're going to go right next door. Another thing, too, and I, I helped a family out with this at Epcot yesterday, is they were trying to get back to the Polynesian where we're headed now. And they were going to, like, I'm just going to call an Uber because uh, the buses are going to take forever. And the monorail, I don't want to have to transfer the TTC to get on the rail for the Polynesian. I was like, listen, if you get off of the TTC, there is a walkway to the Polynesian. So if you're ever taking the monorail to TTC, especially from Epcot, uh, you could just walk over to the Polynesian. If you're taking it from the Magic Kingdom, you could usually just go one more stop 
<laughs> and get off unless you're on the express. But if you're on the resort line, after the TTC, the Polynesians are next up. And here we are, we've arrived. Just like that. Hi, Just Barry. Hi, Maureen. Maureen, sake is a Japanese alcoholic beverage. It is a rice wine. You can grab some sakis here at the Japan Pavilion at Epcot. We'll be there later on. However, here in the U.S., you got to be 21 to enjoy sake. All right, we're here at the Polynesian Resort. I love it. Technically, the Polynesian Village Resort. We got a winds that feel like rain, so we're gonna hope to dodge it. It looks beautiful right ahead, but then look right over here. <laughs> Hopefully, it blows right by. The nice part about Florida rainstorms is they're usually pretty quick. In July and August, the skies will just open up, it'll pour. A little hey how are you and then they just keep on moving so if you're in a theme park and it's starting to rain maybe go see a show grab a bite to eat but some of those people not in the know might start panicking and leaving the park you let them go as soon as that rain passes and the rides reopen or maybe go on a ride that's inside that's not affected but certain rides might close due to lightning or rain but as soon as those crowds leave boom you're in business I was gonna walk to the right, but you know what? Let's just walk through the resort because it's so beautiful and I love the entrance. If you're enjoying the stream, I see we got about 150 people hanging out. Thank you so much for watching. If you could hit the like button, it really does help. We got 133 likes. If everyone watching right now just hit the like button, think about the possibilities. I'd love to be at like 199 likes when we get to the Haunted Mansion so I could say, there's always room for one more. <laughs> Look at this entry. I mean, come on. The beauty. Ah. Um, you can cut through here. This is also the way to Trader Sam's. I'm gonna walk out here just because there's a great reveal right here. If you just look straight ahead, look at that. The Magic Kingdom. Dad about Disney, what's going on? It says, what's up brother, have a blast. Hope it's not as hot as it is here at our home. It's pretty warm here. I have a nice glisten. Peach says it's as hot as the surface of the sun here in DC. <laughs> if you aren't in the pool or the AC, you're sizzling. Well, hopefully you're watching carefully in the pool. Another one of my favorite spots right over here, the waterfall, my man on the guitar, and you can see the smoke. It's a little smoky, but it smells great. Over here at uh, the terrace, you can just seat yourself. Your server will come up to you. Another cool spot about this, uh, another cool thing about this spot is you can watch fireworks here and they pump in the music. You may have heard it's very hard to get into Trader Sam, so if it's full, you can go hang out at the Tiki Terrace. People are getting off the boat. Let's see if I could uh, make this this boat.
this is the main pool area. There are more than one uh, pool areas here. I mean, this is the one that's got the cool water slide, the grotto, the kids' splash pad. It's also where they do the entertainment with the cast members playing the games and whatnot. I don't see a boat. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. As Brandy says, they're building the Holiday Inn. <laughs> but we're not sure. We're keeping an open mind. But there is a new tower going up in between the Wedding Chapel, which is that building right between the, uh, I almost said the Grand Californian, <laughs> the Grand Floridian and the Polynesian resort that exists. They are making progress. Let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven stories. What? You see those clouds? This is where you got the Florida look over here. Oh, what a beautiful sky, beautiful day. Look at those clouds. And then, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Dark clouds over that hotel. I don't know if it's a good sign. I love grabbing the boat from here. If you've watched our streams, I'm going to do this quite often. The boat usually just hops right from Magic Kingdom to the Grand Flow to here, back to the Magic Kingdom, and just does a big circle all day. And you got great views out here. Kenny, good afternoon, great to see you. Busy day at work for Chief, thanks for being here. Appreciate everyone working and lurking. I love that. Love pugs. What's going on? No oh, doubt about Disney. It's 107 is the heat index in North Carolina right now. Wow. Thanks, Jack Sparrow. New subscriber, even though he is new, said, you know what, if you're coming in, please hit the like button, consider subscribing. That's so nice, I appreciate that. So I'm for just one second so I can grab some water, but you know what, I can do it with one hand. I got skills. So uh, it looks like big vaulted ceilings in the lobby. I think they're gonna put a bar up there. At least it looks like in a restaurant. What a decent amount of rooms. I mean, let's think. Two, four, six, eight, ten. It's going to be at least, my guess, 300 rooms. It's probably an ounce somewhere. I'm doing a quick count. I'm just uh, taking all the open stalls, counting them, and then doubling it, assuming they're going to be facing the other side. I just can't believe they fit all that in that tiny piece of land, and it's right up against the water. Now, granted, the reason they're able to do that is that this was all land. This lagoon right here, the Seven Seas Lagoon, was man made by the engineers when they came here for Walt Disney World. They pulled all this land up to build up the Magic Kingdom on the second story and then 
they connected this to Bay Lake, which was an existing lake. So this technically was, it's not like they were building like on water that was already here. Granted, Florida is a big swamp, but they are so close to the lagoon here. And it's such a small strip of land between the monorail and the water. This guy's coming in real hot. There's the wedding chapel. If you have a party of 18, uh, it starts at $10,000 for a party of 18. That's fun, right? And the beautiful Grand Floridian, as we say, Robert D's home. You can see Space Mountain and Tron there in the distance. Is definitely picking up. You see the water getting a little choppy as well. Here comes our ride. So this is the addition, uh, Colleen, to the Poly, which a lot of people say really doesn't make too much sense because I mean this is called the Polynesian Village Resort. And then you have this giant tower uh, and the concept art looks a little, you know, like a, I don't want to say run of the mill because that doesn't sound flattering, but your standard hotel. So uh, it uh, has jokingly got the nickname the Polyday Inn. But we'll see what happens. We'll see how they make it work. That's on the lawn over there where there used to be the Spirit of Aloha dinner show, which I'm very sad I never got to see. We were going to go see it right before the pandemic. Susan says, I already booked it, but if you were to book an Eat to the Beat dining package, what restaurant would you book it for? Ooh, it's a good question. All right, what do you guys say? If you do the Eat to the Beat dinner package, for those who don't know what that is, during the Eat to the Beat concert series, which has started since food and wine is, is here now, it started yesterday. If you want reserve seating in the first uh, three or four rows, you can do the Eat to the Beat dining package at one of the signature dining restaurants. I can say I think I've done them all. So I have my answer. I'm thinking in my head if I'm missing anything. I can tell you my least favorite. That's the easiest. But then the rest, you know, I like everything. So it's like picking your children. I will say, and again, I'm a man of, I'm a positive man, positive Pete, but Nine Dragons might have been the worst dinner package experience I've ever had. Uh, we enjoyed Tepanito. Uh, I forget if, this is years ago, but I forget if Le Salier does it. I know Morocco does it. Uh, let's see, so Tepanito's Japan, or maybe we did, I don't know if we did Tepanito, we might have done Tokyo Dining. But either way, we, it was great. Love Japan, love Morocco, love Canada. Rose and Crown. I have never done the dining package for Eat to the Beat, but I have had dinner there. And I've done other things at Rose and Crown. Uh, so that's a good meal. Mexico was good. And then, yeah, China wasn't my favorite. I'm trying to think if that's it. I forget if Italy does the dining package. But they're all good. It also depends on what you like or if you want to try something new. Tyler Silva's back. Awesome. Colleen says, yeah, it does look like a Holiday Inn. Yeah, it's the Holiday Inn. Yeah, Le Salier is an excellent option, Susan. Can't go wrong with Lace like Alright, let's hop in line. It's time to go for a boat ride. Oh, I 
hope we dodge the rain, but man, that brace feels good, so I am welcoming it. Sean asked, I was planning to buy the Disney 100 refillable mug. Do you think it's a good purchase? Uh, it depends. If you drink a lot of soft drinks, it could save you some money. I don't drink soda. <laughs> I mean, it might be cheaper for me, too. I mean, I just something I gave up years ago. But uh, typically, I'm having a cocktail. Where should we sit? The back, the front? Let's go to the back of the boat. Welcome. Thanks. We got a little bit of our own space back here on the open seas. Ah, a bit of a breeze. Susan says, uh, that soup keeps me coming back. I love it. But other than the soup and the maple creme brulee, the filet mignon was very disappointing the last few times I've been there. Um, yeah, I haven't had the filet there. I mean, I've had it, so everyone says, and I'm pretty sure it's true, but I can't confirm, but everyone says the, the filet that you get at the Canada booth during food and wine is the same filet they buy for Les Celliers, and the soup is the same soup. So we do like the filet and the soup that's at the Canada booth during food and wine. When I'm at the steakhouse, again, I haven't been to Les Celliers in over a year. I typically don't get filets. Lauren likes filets, but I'm more of like a ribeye guy or a New York strip. And I've always liked my meals there. <laughs> Chief Leaf, love it. drop them in the jaws. They're going to need a bigger boat. Yeah, with the refillable mugs, uh, you can only refill them at the resorts. I don't believe you can refill them in the parks. But they do change up rules from time to time. So I, I always like to say that's my understanding. Uh, more people just walked up and the boat's pulling away. Uh, it's a bad beat. Yeah. Sorry, friends. I would have stopped for you. Oh, it is loud back here. Farewell, Polynesian. Next stop, Magic Kingdom. And then the Haunted Mansion. I'm so excited to go on the ride. Everyone, keep your fingers and toes crossed that we keep service the whole time. The spirits tend to affect the cellular service. But I got a good feeling. And the hot, bo the hat box ghost was here himself to say he's going to give us good signal today. Oh, you can refill the mug with water. Yes, I mean technically you can get water at any of the places, even if you don't have the refillable mug. I believe water you can get anywhere. That's why I highly recommend bringing a water bottle. And speaking of water bottles, we have just a few left of the Adventures by Carney. Uh, some people call them tumbler, water cooler, water bottle, but it's that beautiful stainless steel. It's made by Dugout Mugs, a huge company. I think they're worth like $60 million, something crazy. But uh, they, they, were, they were kind enough to do a small uh, run for us. Bill negotiated this awesome deal. So if you want a mug, uh, it keeps your hot beverages hot, your cold beverages cold all day long. And uh, a big thing for me is I hate when those water bottles don't fit in a cup holder, whether it's in your car or your stroller or anywhere you go. And this has a thin bottom, but it's tall, so it can fit anywhere. Uh, the logo looks great, and there's just a few left. So if you want a refillable mug to bring to the parks, rep the uh, YouTube channel right here. You can order one. Hop in our Discord. We have a merch channel. You can contact Bill, or you can go to our website, adventuresbycarney.fun. And there's a merch little tag there. If you haven't checked out the website, we uh, have pictures up from our meetup in April. 
it's awesome. There's a little slideshow. If you go to the uh, DAC 25th meetup tab, uh, there's so many awesome pictures. I have a video that's been about halfway done for two months now, but there's so many pictures to go through. And I want to add pictures into the video because what was super cool about that meetup, and I won't talk about it too long, but I mean, I really did love that even if I wasn't every event, like people broke into mini groups and did all these fun little things together and then took pictures and I love all those pictures and people rocking their Adventures by Carney shirts and hats and it was just so cool, so amazing. So a big shout out to everybody who came and hung out with us in April. And if you couldn't be there, we missed you. We'll see you at the next one. So anyway, this is the Grand Floridian. This restaurant right here on the water is Narcusi's. Uh, Robert was here recently, said everything was very good. I haven't been there since they've done it, uh, we've done it, but we'll, we'll put it on the list. Uh, to get to the boat pickup for the Magic Kingdom, where we are headed now, that's the dock. So if you're ever looking on how to get to the boat pickup area, just kind of head towards Narcusis, keep going, boom. And like I said, this boat does a big triangle. So it goes from the Magic Kingdom to that boat dock there at the Grand Flow, over to the Polynesian, where we just came from. And then back to the Magic Kingdom. Who's excited? Next stop, the Magic Kingdom. But uh, yeah, like Susan says, I totally agree. I would always bring a refillable water bottle. Disney does give free cups of water. You can fill up your water bottle. Uh, I know it kind of stinks because uh, you feel like you're hurting the environment, but they can't fill up your water bottle directly for you. But you could go up and ask for two or three cups of water, pour those cups of water right into your water bottle because buying water is four, five, six dollars at a time can really add up. See you later, Rosita. Enjoy the rest of your night. Thanks for popping in with us. Jamie Philippone says we're headed to the best park. Here we are. There's the monorail station for the Magic Kingdom. This is the walkway. There's now a complete walkway where you can get from the Contemporary all the way to the TTC or vice versa. It's a bit of a hike, but it's a nice little walk or a run if you're into that thing. Sean says the coldest water fountains right next to the monorail station. It's good. I didn't know that. Something I haven't even considered, the temperatures of water fountains. I normally like to try to find a quick service restaurant and just add ice first. Here we go. Of the CMs are earning their ears. So much. Thanks so much. So 
just a quick heads up as we go through security. Security doesn't like when we film security. You know, we want to keep it safe here at the Disney theme parks. So I got to aim you guys at the ground for just a temporary moment. And then we'll pop back up and we will be just steps away from the Magic Kingdom. Have a good one. Here we are at the Magic Kingdom. It's the greatest place on earth. And what's nice is since it's after two, we don't need a park reservation. Look at this path. Holder line, calling my name. How's it going, Samson? Thank you so much. Have a good one. Here we are, the Magic Kingdom. Established October 1st, 1971. Let the adventure begin. This is where we're headed. To Liberty Square. But first, we must head to the dead center of the park. <laughs> I'm gonna throw this out here as a little poll. Would it be a boring live stream or a fun live stream to have me get my hair cut here at the barber shop? It's something I've always talked about. What do you think? Is that like Pete? No one wants to see you get your hair cut. Or, hey, that would actually be kind of fun. It's the Magic Kingdom, it's the barber shop. Get a haircut, we'll watch. Let me know. <laughs> it's a great shirt. Ready for the big reveal? Three, two, one. Ah. Beautiful. All right, everyone, there's a beautiful spot. So in case the screen, the screen freezes, I'm gonna just pause it here for one second. I have to just check something on my phone really quick. I've got back-to-back -back text messages from the same person who knows I'm streaming. So I just wanna make sure everything's okay. I'm gonna be right back. Don't go anywhere, don't move a muscle. Just enjoy this, just admire the beauty of this area right here.
también ahí está, mira. Pero... That was your moment of zen here at the Magic Kingdom. As I mentioned earlier, we are about to go on to the Haunted Mansion, but after that, we are still gonna head over to Epcot and take the monorail. So we're gonna get that construction update at the Moana uh, attraction that's due to open pretty soon. And speaking of construction updates, I think we should go check in over at Splash Mountain to see how they're making progress. And we might get lucky and see something else. We'll see. We're working a little corny magic. That's what she said. Thanks again so much for watching and hanging out with me today. I hope you're having a fantastic Friday wherever you are. I'm just so honored and feel so special that you chose to spend a few moments with me today. I'm having fun. I hope you are. Kind of a crazy stream. Normally, like, we like to have a theme, whether we're just going to do one park and do certain things in the park or go... You know, like yesterday we did seven and a half hours of food and wine opening day. Today is just a haunted mansion and then food and wine still happening kind of day and Disney transportation. Started Disney Springs, we did a little happy hour, 
we just walked out of the Haunted Mansion movie, which was amazing. And then we took a bus to a boat to the Magic Kingdom. We'll show you a little bit of a construction updates over at Splash Mountain. Give you a little atmosphere here at Adventureland Frontier and then over into Liberty Square. We're going to ride the Haunted Mansion, take a monorail over to Epcot, get a construction update, and then hopefully say hi to some of our friends and try some more food and beverage options. What a crazy stream. No way to zero zero. If you're enjoying our crazy little stream today, if you can hit the like button, it really does help. Thank you so much to everybody who's already hit the button. It means a lot. Smash the little thumbs up. And if you're new, please consider subscribing. We do fun stuff like this all the time. If you missed our epic stream yesterday, you can go back and check it out. We have a ton of content on this channel. Feel free to go splash around. Check out some videos. Our edited videos tend to be a little bit shorter. We try to keep them in the range of, you know, 5 to 15 minutes. We got some shorts out there, 60 seconds or less. And then our live streams seem to be the bread and butter. Everybody loves them. We took a, we took a poll. Everyone's like, give us the live streams. And a lot of positive feedback on yesterday's stream. So here we are, back to back days, mega streams. Pardon me, sorry. Do you see the smoke come out of the cannon? So many people never even noticed that. With the cannon sound effects. This is part of that pirate scavenger hunt that we did a few weeks ago, right here. If you want to check out that stream after this one, this is another cool special effects area. All throughout Adventureland, there are these hidden special effects and cool things that happen as you do the scavenger hunt. If you have some extra time, or if you got a return time for a ride, and you're like, how are we going to kill half hour? Come over here to uh, Adventureland. <laughs> I almost said Frontier Lanks, I'm looking at the sign. And do the scavenger hunt, it's so much fun. It only runs during the day though, so I think that might be the last group doing it. I think it runs from like 12 to six or something like that and it's about quarter after six now here on the East Coast. To sign up for that scavenger hunt, you head right over here. The Golden Oak Outpost is to the right, but to the left, straight ahead, is a pirate's adventure. Treasures of the Seven Seas. That's the exit on that side. You're coming over here, right through this arch. Come on in. And yeah, it was right. It runs from 12 to 6. And if you want a little preview, there's a, like five or six different versions of it. But if you want a little preview, I think we did one or two of them. We did a few of them uh, a few weeks ago. You can go check them out right here on the channel. Just uh, search Pirates Adventure or Magic Kingdom Scavenger Hunt. Or it'll be in our live video section. Here we go. All right. Oh, my God. That air conditioning felt so good. It's blowing right at me. I'm going to stand right here. Look at this. All right. Construction update. If you haven't seen it, they added the water tower a few weeks back. Still a lot of scaffolding. Doing a lot of painting. It looks like we have this uh, water mill feature right over here. Coming in off the trees and windows right there. That looks fun. 
Let's see what else we can find. They really aren't doing too much to the track. It should be run along the same track. But it will be a completely different feel and vibe. You can see that uh, where it used to come to that tall point no longer exists up there. Be a little bit flatter as it is supposed to be New Orleans, the bayou. Not a lot of giant mountains. But there's uh, muddy hills, right? You can see this brickwork looks a lot more um, it's a lot darker, more mud than sand, or that tall, weathered look. They're reshaping some of the mountain right here as well. You can see where they got that wire mesh. It's coming along. Right now, a 40 minute wait for Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Tom Sawyer Island is closed for the day. It looks like that's the last group coming back. They do shut that down. Oh, there's one more boat over there. I believe this also closes at six o'clock. You can see them gathering up the last few people, taking them back to the homeland right here. There's also rumors that they may turn Pecos Bills, Tall Tale in a Cafe, straight ahead into a Tiana restaurant. I'd actually be for that and have them kind of hopefully changing some kind of gradual change from Frontier to uh, New Orleans area. There's a New Orleans area already in Disneyland, so it wouldn't be too far-fetched. And also Pecos Bills used to be a great quick service restaurant, and it's really just fallen off over the last few years. I mean, even before COVID, they started taking away things. And then since COVID, it's really not the same. I used to love it here. This was always like my go-to quick service. And now it's, it's rough. I tried it again recently, like, a, I don't know, a month or two ago. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I'm being unfair. And no, no, it was actually worse than I remember. So it's a shame. So if they can give it some love, turn that into a Tiana restaurant right next to uh the new tiana attraction i think it'd be pretty cool get some new food options two minutes until the next show should we do country bears i feel like some people are like you gotta do country bears you know what we're gonna do country bears we're going for it it's two minutes why not there's always time for a quick country bear show I know I'm going to make at least one customer, our man, Chief Leaf, very happy. And it's air conditioned, and I like that. I'm going to just, even though the AC feels great, it's very loud inside there. During special nights like 4th of July, New Year's Eve, uh, this is one of the dance party areas, if you're ever here for that, is that they set up the DJs up here, and this is like the dance party area. Also, if you ever want to spot, sometimes the country bears come out and hang out in this area, or they may be up top. That's why I say always look up, down, left, right. They hang out up here. Chippendale, some of the country bears hang out up there. Also, love how they theme this uh, electric board. The signs. This came out so good. They color match that perfect. That's actually changing with the wait times. There you go. Detron. That looks great. Really well done. I don't see any movement inside yet, but I'm ready for some singing and stomping, some clapping and growling at the Country Bear Jamboree. It's a wild and woolly good time here at the Grizzly Hole. I'm ready for that air conditioning.
Happy birthday, Allie. Colleen, I'm with you. Let's bring the beignets to the Magic Kingdom. Amen. <laughs> Chief Leaf says, yes, this is one of the best days of my life. We are headed in to see the country bears. I knew we'd have some happy customers. David Lugg's pumped to see Big Al. Allie Mannion again, and happy birthday. Thanks for being here, hanging out with us on your birthday. Shout out to Allie. Uh, when I came in, I was asking people earlier, hi, how are you? If they are for or against a live stream of me getting a haircut here at Magic Kingdom. Sean says, I'm make it happen. Says, I love the barber shop. Me and my boys make sure to always get a haircut there. Cast members are super nice. Yeah, I, we took uh, my nephew there for his very first haircut. It was awesome. Little Joey. Well, I call him my nephew. He's my cousin's kid. My, but my first true nephew, Liam, we're so pumped. He is uh, finally home. Came home this week after being in uh, the NICU for months. So he is so happy he's home. He's got no, no, no direct connections or tubes. It's just so awesome to see how happy he is. What a handsome young man. Hi, Nate. What's going on? Thanks, Peaches. I love that. Hey, I got to go clean the house. I'm going to leave the stream running. That does help the YouTube algorithm, so I appreciate that. Oh, doors are open. Dad about Disney said, yes, please do it. I've had my hair cut there before, and our son's first ever haircut was at the Harmony Barber Shop. At just 18 months old back in 2015, it's amazing. Such lovely staff. Yeah, I want to go do it. I think it'll be fun. Chief Leaf says, Izzo should get a shave there. That's awesome. Susan says, go for it. Izzo says, haircut's on my bucket list. Robert D. Tony's. I think the hate has gone too far on Tony's. I'm loving Tony's. Colleen says, fun stream. I'm glad. Thanks. Everybody loves the triplets. Let's sit.
Howdy. Howdy. That was all right. We're going to try one more time because here in front of him, we say howdy. Howdy. That was much better. Howdy, folks, and welcome to Grizzly Hall, home of the world famous country bear jamboree. A few friendly reminders before our show today gets started. Number one, please no eating or drinking inside of our theater. Our bears are already stuffed, and they have been since 1971. Now, my second house rule, please no external video lighting or flash photography as it is simply unbearable. Thank you. Alrighty, folks, put your paws and claws together. Give my friends a round of applause. Help me wake them up from their hibernation. Woo! Well, that was nice. I hope everyone enjoyed a little country bears, a little throwback. And it was great for me, I'm not gonna lie. I got to drink some water, towel off the, <laughs> the body. A little break, uh, now I'm ready to go. If I can make a suggestion to all those watching, is when you're leaving an, a line, an area, a theater, make your way all the way out before stopping. Otherwise, you're gonna have a lot of people that uh, bump into you. But with that being said, we just walked into a hoedown. I wanna jump in. How much fun you got the country bears just finish the show come back out i got clarabelle out here we got big al we got chip and dale Does this person look familiar to anyone else? Just asking. You don't have to say names in the chat. It's 
TLOSs. I wish they would do that in Disneyland. Chief, my pleasure. So thanks for making my day, Pete. Dustin Strait, what's going on? They're on the bus heading to the poly. Nice. Alley Cat, what's going on? This show is bear alicious. Pink Panther, what's happening? What's up, Alex G? You're very welcome. A lot of people missing the country bears in Anaheim. We're bringing them to you right here. Isn't this fun? You do the hokey pokey with all your favorite friends. That's fun. You think you're just gonna walk through Frontierland, you'd find yourself in a hoedown. Ooh, the skies look ominous around our next stop. The Haunted Mansion. You saw it in the thumbnail. It's the reason we're here at the Magic Kingdom today. We saw the Haunted Mansion earlier. It was awesome. Really did the ride justice. So we thought it's only fitting to head to the Haunted Mansion now. No spoilers, but if you're a big fan of the Haunted Mansion, you are going to love the new movie that I believe officially came out today. I know there were some previews last night and here at AMC at Disney Springs that I think there was a preview Wednesday night. But we saw it today. It was awesome. And I'm pumped. We're headed in. We're headed in. We're headed in. We're headed in. Hopefully we're not beheaded in. <laughs> All right, so I will say before we go into the Haunted Mansion, it's a little hit or miss. Sometimes we have really, really good luck and the stream goes perfect. Other times, the happy haunts tend to mess with our reception. So we'll see what happens today. But if for any reason you get a little blurry screen or a freeze or something happens, just do me a favor, hit refresh, keep hitting refresh, don't go anywhere. I'm going to keep making it better and better so that way we can give you the best possible stream from this very scary experience. And since this is the reason we are here today, we're going to get a little carny magic and skip that 45 minute standby and head in to the lightning lane. Here we go. I'm so excited. 
Here's the pet cemetery. You can see Mr. Toad up there, up top. Rest in peace, Mr. Toad, we miss you here. You guys were talking about how you miss the country bears in Anaheim. We miss Mr. Toad here. You get your photos here at the exit. Sometimes people just rush out of here, but if you come out of the exit and go to your right, you can get a nice photo with the horseless carriage or this beautiful, beautiful haunted mansion. Oh man, I'm so pumped. I'm excited like this is the first time I'm going on it after the movie, I'm not even lying. This is exciting. The only thing that rivals this is going on the Haunted Mansion during the Halloween party when they have the characters out and the fog machines and the, and the awesome lighting. It's pretty special. Dearly beheaded, we're gathered here today. <laughs> I love it. I'm not giving any spoilers on the movie. You gotta see it, but it's awesome. If you're a Haunted Mansion fan, you're gonna love it. Grumpy says, mere mortals, come in and stay forever. <laughs> Bless you. Step all the way in, please, and make room for everyone. 
There's no turning back now. At this time, drag your bodies away from the walls into the dead center of the room. Your cadaverous power betrays an aura of foreboding, almost as though you sense a disquieting metamorphosis. Is this haunted room actually stretching, or is it your imagination? Mm -hmm. And consider this dismaying observation. This chamber has no windows and no doors. <laughs> Which offers you this chilling challenge to find a way out. <laughs> There's always my way. Oh, I didn't mean to frighten you prematurely. Get out. <laughs> the real Please. chills come later. Now. Slide Beyonce to the left. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm trying to show you these paintings. Not, the lighting's not the best, but every painting, every detail matters. It's so good. And I'm talking about the ride and the movie. I'm 
That was awesome. Now I want to go see the movie again. I want to do this 10 more times. Have a good one. Well, that was awesome. Sorry it's a little dark for all of you, but... I hope you got the gist and it still brought back all the feels. So yeah, when you're exiting, if you want a picture, you go off to the right here. Otherwise, you can head out this way to the left and you pass the pet cemetery, including, like we mentioned on the way in, Mr. Toad right there. Rest in peace. All right, well, we've completed two thirds of our promise on the thumbnail. We went from Haunted Mansion at Disney Springs to the Haunted Mansion Magic Kingdom 
And the last part was, let's head to Epcot. Now we did a lot that we <laughs> did not plan on, but we're gonna push it to the limit. I can't believe it's already seven o'clock. It's kind of crazy. We've been live for 215 minutes. Wow. But I'm a man of my word. So let's head to a monorail. Then we're gonna make the old switcheroo with the TTC. And then we'll get a little construction update of the Moana area. We'll get off the ride and we'll see if our friends are still there. I, I don't know how late they were staying, but we'll try our best. I'm charging the gimbal as we speak. So the gimbal should be charged. The phone I charged during Country Bears might need a little bit more love, maybe on the monorail. And then I gotta make friends with someone, see who will drive me home from Epcot. <laughs> I guess I could Uber, but where's the fun in that? What a fun and random stream today. I'm not gonna lie, didn't plan on this, but I think it's working out. We're having fun. We're doing a lot of random stuff. Get to hang out with a bunch of you, so I hope you're having a fantastic Friday. If you've been enjoying the stream and you haven't, hit that like button yet. Or maybe you just forgot or you were like, let's see him actually ride the Haunted Mansion before I hit this like button. Well, we've done it. So if you could hit the like button, I'd really appreciate it. And hopefully, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, you're consider subscribing. We're just growing, growing, growing. We'd love, 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 love to have you come join the fun. Chief says, always love a stream for Magic Kingdom Pete, this park. It's such a fun, happy vibe. I agree. I think all the parks are, though. But I get what you're saying. <laughs> Izzo says, I'll come hang out with you, Pete. I'll be there in 20 hours. Wait for me. You got it. Yeah, that's a great shot. David Long saying he's got pictures with the hitchhiking ghost in front of the mansion. Yeah, though, I love when they do that. <laughs> Brandy <laughs> said, I hurried back. Yeah, during the uh, Christmas party, they, that's when you can get the picture with the hitchhiking ghost outside. A lot of cool pics. It's, uh, sometimes they have Constance Hatchaway outside. Uh, or they have uh, some other spirit lurking around the mansion. It's fun. Love when the uh, Dapper Dance also go into full Halloween mode. Disney Mice would love it. Thank you, Pete. My pleasure. I don't think this guy knows if it wants to rain or not. But I'm loving the breeze and I haven't gotten wet yet, so all good things. But I see them uh, covering things up. Perfect time for a monorail ride. Izzo, I have tried that uh, bourbon you were talking about, by the way, uh, Brothers Bond. I got a bottle for each of my brothers, too, for Christmas. I thought it was good. <laughs> I love that Izzo said he's getting into the spirits, too, by having a little bourbon. Yeah, I like when they, she said uh, when we were leaving the stretching room, she's like, get out. And I'm not sure if you guys heard it, but she was like, just listen to Beyonce and go to the left, to the left. <laughs> I don't know if it's Haunted Mansion themed, but I thought it was funny. I think she's having fun with it.
that's an awesome doorbell sound, Jamie. This is great, but what do I know? I'm just a foolish mortal running around Disney. I wish there was a monorail that took me to my house. I mean, obviously I still want to do the loop around Epcot, but that would be great. If only Walt's ideas were translated, or I could just take a people mover over to my place. Oh boy. Train's leaving. Wow, it's a quiet day when guest relations is no line. Everyone's just happy. <laughs> it's crazy. All right, on to part three. And our third mode of Disney transportation. We've bussed, we've boated, now it's time to monorail. And we've Disney springed, and we've Magic Kingdom. Now it's time to Epcot. We're doing it all on this stream. Who knows, maybe we'll hit 200 likes by the end of the stream. We're at a buck 74 right now. I'm feeling optimistic. Thanks so much. Have a good one. Thank you. K Y M O U S E. The Express is here. Can we can we make this? Can we make this? Our door is just opening or just closing. Looks like people are on the platform. Oh, they're just loading. We're totally making the Express. We made it. <laughs> I knew we would. So if you want to see something cool where they store the electrical water badge in, it's right over here. For those of you we got a quick sneak peek at the electrical water pageant right over here. At the express let's show you the golf course so if you ever staying at shades of green or anyone in your family's military uh shades of green right across the street from the grand flow right here and also home to the three disney golf courses that are by the magic kingdom there's also the lake buena vista course which is over by saratoga oh 
Well, so here's your construction update on the Holiday Inn. Tiny little piece of land, right? Like they're so close to the monorail and the water. And the beautiful Polynesian Village Resort. Look at that time, you're passing a monorail at every station as we go. Torches are lit. I love this resort. So we talked about it earlier, but you can walk from the poly to the TTC just by following the buildings to the very end. There's a little walkway. There's the walkway right there. So if you're looking at or toward the Magic Kingdom, the walkway is to your left. If you're looking at the parking lot, it's to your right. And we've come full circle. Now we gotta make a little transfer onto the Epcot monorail and we're gonna get a Moana construction update as we take a lap around Epcot on the monorail. Oh, that AC felt glorious. Literally life changing. I feel like a new man. We're going to Epcot. Awesome, thanks. Plenty of space. Let's see, we'll go over here. Which way do we want to go? It's a great shot with the sky and the flags. Look at that. Monorail. Again, big thanks to Rosita for the super chat earlier today. It really means so much. Thanks to everybody who's always so generous. And a big shout out to all the Patreons. You are all so amazing. After the stream today, I did put a post up on our community page. Go read it. Just want to acknowledge just some of the amazing people who really just continue to support the channel all the time. And it really means so much to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I do not take this for granted or for granted since we're leaving the Magic Kingdom. I love the sun creeping behind the clouds over here and then this little pocket by the Polynesian. Sean and ADR is an advanced dining reservation. You can make your dining reservations in advance, but people abbreviate it with ADRs. Diane Bush, what's going on? Yes. 
Sean said, anyone have any tips for Christmas week at Disney World? Uh, plan ahead. Realize it's going to take a long time to do a lot of things. Uh, be patient. You may want to pack some ashwagandha. <laughs> and thank you for uh, newly subscribing. I appreciate that. Yes. Also, build in time at the resorts. It's a great point by Brandy. Uh, so many of the resorts do stuff for the holidays, and it's beautiful. So if you don't have an annual pass and you're paying per day per ticket, maybe do one less park day or schedule some days just to kind of hop around to the resorts because they're really beautiful and the displays are incredible. Especially the Contemporary, Grand Flow, Poly, everything on the monorail line, you can just hop on and off and explore, and they're all fantastic. But other places, too, like the Beach and Yacht, they have a chocolate carousel. Uh, since you're over on the Boardwalk area, go walk over to the Boardwalk. The Swan and Dolphin's beautiful. Those two hubs, you could, like, they're all walkable once you're there, and there's so many, uh, so many amazing things to see. And they're really beautiful. Here comes our ride. While we load, just hold on one second. I'm going to be right back. I'm just going to check something on the phone so the phone might freeze or be fuzzy for one minute. But I'll be right back. You don't want to go anywhere. We're about to see the Moana construction update from up top. So don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Monorail Teal. TTC. You can see the grand flow across the way here. And when that monorail turns to the left towards the contemporary, we are going to go the opposite direction over towards Epca. The 
This first road we're going to pass is the road you would take if you're heading to the Contemporary. You can actually see it right where the monorail enters, right there. And then... We'll get some nice set views on this monorail ride as well. So we're passing the Magic Kingdom parking lot, the Ticketed Transportation Center, and this is one of the largest parking lots in North America. You could take all of Disneyland and Disney California Adventure, both parks in Anaheim, and fit them inside of this parking lot. Another fun fact is there used to be a racetrack here. They actually had like the Tom Petty race experience and they had uh, drag races, like they, not drag, but like stock car and like races here. I'm sorry, I'm not an NASCAR person. But you could look that up pretty neat. But yeah, a massive parking lot. That's one of the speedways I was talking about when you're leaving the TTC or one of the three monorail resorts you want to fill up. They're usually pretty decently priced because they Disney keeps them in check. A lot of these bridges are the new infrastructure they just built. Originally supposed to be completed before the pandemic, but completed uh, just in the last few months. Here's your entrance plaza for Magic Kingdom from the back, and what you see when you're on your way to the Magic. Ah, just a relaxing monorail ride. Monorail yellow coming in hot. It's like reminds me of passing another uh, train on the Long Island Railroad. One of the solar fields here, but that solar field just behind those trees, that is a giant hidden Mickey. If you were to look at Google Earth, that solar field is the famous two dimes and a nickel. The three circles, Mickey's head. Yeah, there's. Uh, I see some questions about the Patreon. You can just go check it out. There's uh, three tiers on there. Love. To uh, hang out with some more Patreons. So we got a Zoom call this uh, Monday or Tuesday. Patreon.com backslash Adventures by Carney. Go check it out. Shout out to all the Patreons. They're amazing. I am very lucky. We have an amazing community. Richard Petty Racing. Did I say Tom Petty? That's so funny. Free falling. Richard Petty. Oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind. I've been streaming for 240 minutes. So check out this new loop. I think this is going to be uh, an Uber or Lyft drop off, which would be really unfortunate because it's kind of a hike, but we'll see what that is.
thank you, Kelly, for posting all the links. Yeah, if you guys want to follow uh, along between the streams, uh, go follow the socials at Official Carney on Instagram and Threads. Now, uh, the Twitter is your WDW guy. The TikTok's Adventures by Carney. So this used to be the old Uber Lyft drop off, but now it's all the way over there by Guardians. Uh, starting about a week or two ago, so you can see uh, all the way where like kind of they stop parking cars. But here we go. We're gonna go do a little construction update here at Epcot. So food and wine has begun. You see the decor right there. So Moana's almost done. Let's see how uh, it's looking today. Before we get there, here's the new Guardians attraction. It's bumping. Still no word on what's happening in that building. It was supposed to be the Play Pavilion and they just got squashed. Mission Space test track. There's some food booths for food and wine over here too. So even before you get to the World Showcase, you got about four food booths right up here at this area outside of Creations. The refreshment station and the fry basket is open. And look at the beautiful World Showcase. Food and wine in full effect yesterday. Now not all the booths are open yet, but most of them are open. Here we go, here's your Moana construction update in your spine. You can see that you got some posts that went up over there. Some posts that went up right here. Looks like some lighting. This looks like back of the house stuff. The rubber open over here. Looks like some planters uh, have been put in. And then here's the Moana update. Looks good. No water is running right now, but. There's the water running on that one. It's pretty big. It looks good. I mean, who knows what's going to be? A nice little walk for it. Okay, that's cool. But it looks super cool. I'm excited about it. New things are good things. Right, we made it we are what looks like our final destination of this crazy stream that we started 245 minutes ago look at that sky Thanks, Monorail Teal. Excellent ride. Is I'm with you about the play pavilion. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, no more Walcott? I mean, who knows? Some people have only known that world. Yeah, the Play Pavilion was advertised in a bunch of places, and then all of a sudden just, nah, we're going to pass. But you never know. Like with Disney, a lot of the projects, even if they get shelved, they find a way back sometimes or bigger and better things.
We're about to walk in, but just before we walk in, I just want to see if I could find out where our friend Michelle Wargo is. Uh, we we're going to try and meet up with her for a little food and wine. A lot of people know her. We miss Michelle. So let's. Uh, I'm going to just give her a quick text and see where she's at. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Here we are. One day tickets now at around 134 to 150. Wow. Wow, wow, we were. There's just one line, two lines. Appreciate it. Here we are. TLOS has epic stream today. Epic stream yesterday. Amazing job. Thanks so much, Pete. Well, thank you for watching. If people didn't watch, uh, who would I be streaming to? So really, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who watched yesterday, today, in the past, and to the future. You gotta do it for the people. Honestly, I remember grinding when I was, especially when I was living in New York and I was traveling a lot. I used to love the live streams and people bringing the magic to me wherever I was. So hopefully I could just bring a little bit of that magic to all of you and have some fun along the way and try new things, do some classics, crack a joke here and there, a construction update, whatever the day calls for. Today was a little bit crazy, but it was fun. And yeah, back to back, long ones, but it's been a really nice day and I've loved chatting with all of you and talking with all of you and I love these Disney days. I gave the tip yesterday that you should wait to do spaceship birth at night because the wait time is shorter, let's see. Five minute walk on. What did I say? You think these carny tips are false? Yesterday we walked in around 11, it was 45 minutes for Spaceship Earth. I said, come back in the evening when everyone's in the World Showcase. It is about 7.40 right now. A walk on for Spaceship Earth. What you know about that? I mean, it's not really something that crazy. But it is fun when I'm right. Because, you know, it's rare. I think the water I chugged during Country Bears, the Haunted Mansion, and the monorail ride is finally hitting my system. Feeling more energy, feeling good, but also feeling the urge to go to the dentist, which is a good thing. The question is, who do we trust? Wow, look at this tripod. Now that is a tripod. Ah, air conditioning. My favorite thing. At least here in Florida. <laughs> All right. Here's the thing. Who do we trust with this camera? Strangers? Do we just trust the strangers? Hey, 
manténse después la I wonder, so if you didn't know this, they have the uh, wireless charging here. Uh, I'm not close enough. <laughs> but it is neat if you sit here at the bar, you can wirelessly charge your phone. Back. If anyone steals you, take a picture. We're back, baby. All right. No one's answering me. I just had one of the, <laughs> what a nice young man that approached me in the bedroom. I'm washing my hands at the sink. He comes up to me and I'm thinking he's gonna ask where the paper towels are because the paper towels in this new bathroom by uh, here in Connections next to Guardians. There's only one paper towel dispenser and it's the old way at the far end of the, of the bathroom. And it's a long layout bathroom. It's not like a multiple, like there's no like horseshoe or U shape. It's just one long sink on one wall, stalls and urinals on the other. Anyway, it could be TMI for some of you, but you know, good to know. Anyway, <laughs> I'm washing my hands and I'm thinking he's gonna come up and ask where the paper towels are. So I go to motion to the end and he goes, excuse me, do you know where a water fountain is? And I was like, oh my gosh, you are such a polite young man. And I was like, yeah, I'll show it to you. So, or I was like, if you want, when you go outside the bathroom, you gotta make a left. And he had one broken arm and one wasn't. So he puts up his good arm to like form like the L <laughs> and it was backwards. But when he walked out of the bathroom, it went the wrong way. So I was like, hey, bud. I think he meant this left. He's like, oh, thank you. He was just a nice little guy. All right. Well, yesterday we kind of blew past these booths because we wanted to get that pickle milkshake. I don't know why we went there so fast, but <laughs> let's check out some of these menus while we're over here, while I'm seeing if my friends are here. Michelle already left. 
My other friend already left too. <laughs> it's okay. Let's look at this menu. Here, Coastal Eats. I was a big fan of this. Uh, every year, actually, since 2017. I think it was here the first year this came out as well. Lump crab cake looks good. The Oysters Rockefeller look good. And uh, they have a cuvee and a Cape Cotter. What's that? Body and Blair potato vodka with cranberry, pomegranate, and lime. Lauren, I like that. All right, okay, very good. It looks good. It smells great. This always smells good because you got Coastal Eats right here and flavors from fire right over there and the fry basket right there. Anybody want me, my friend? Anybody want a food and wine with me? Anybody? I can't, I can't food and wine alone. Oh, the playground is jumping today. Look at all these kids just living their best life on the playground at Epcot. You guys hear about the new $2 billion park being built in Oklahoma? Pizza Hut guy. He owned like a thousand Pizza Huts. He's put $2 billion of his own money, one investor, and he's building a monster park to rival, you know, like a Disney or Universal. Obviously, he doesn't have the IPs, but it looks really cool. So here they got the Impossible Burger Slider with the wasabi cream, spicy Asian slaw, and a sesame seed bun, the smoked corned beef with a house made potato chip, cheese curds, pickled onions, and a beer cheese fondue. The chimichurri marinated skirt steak taco. That looks good. Crushed avocado, grilled corn salsa, pickled red onions, queso fresco, cilantro lime cream, and a spice chocolate tarp. Ooh, a Saga Tuck Brewing. It's got a bonfire beer. We had that last year. I think they have that every year. The Zin they have every year. And the Swine Brine we have every year, too. Although the price goes up, I feel like, a dollar or fifty cents every year. No oh boy, it smells good. Michelle, here she is in the chat, said, I had the pickle milkshake today. It was good, sweet, and salty aftertaste. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I don't think people are going to lose their minds like, oh, my God, I have to have another one. But I think it's interesting. That's how I reviewed it. I, th I said it's worth trying once. It won't be something that you, like, spit out. You'll be able to have it. But I don't know how many people will reorder it was my review. I'm sorry I missed you, Michelle. We uh, tried to hustle over here. Yeah, the Haunted Lighthouse in Oklahoma looks awesome, Brandy. You you Colleen, that's her state. Well, you know what? When that opens up, hopefully, if you guys keep hitting those like buttons, keep subscribing, we keep growing this community, that's supposed to open in three years. I don't know how it's going to happen in three years, but how's it going? Uh, but if it does open in three years, By then, hopefully, we've grown this community where they might invite us to go check it out. Uh, uh, you never know. So thanks to everybody who uh, has subscribed. You're helping grow. Maybe we'll get invited out there, show you what it's like. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, ABC Meetup in Oklahoma. We didn't walk down this way on yesterday's stream here at Food & Wine, but I do love that they paint these walls and the new sign, the Brewing Lab at the Odyssey. It's fun. It's so amazing that the minute food and wine ends, they clear out those planters, they take out the planters that flow in the middle, and then this just looks like this. <laughs> I think that bird is just like, what happened here? You know, I bought the deed to this lake during food and wine. Now look at this land. I was talking with someone, what was it, last night or this morning? But it was their first time here at Epcot, and they said, we're sorry we missed you at Food and Wine, but we didn't even know what was going on until we came back. It's like, what do you mean? There was like, we didn't see any signage or anything. And I realized, I get it. Like, Lauren's like, no way, how do they not know? But if you think about it, for all the festivals, whether it's the holidays, Festival of the Arts, Flower and Garden, like, especially even right here, there's big signage or planters and, like, some kind of fanfare. 
talking about what it is. Even when you walk into the park, it's those like silly like metal wind socks that you have to squint to see what's happening. Yes, they do have these little banners that say food and wine, and those are nice. I'm not saying I don't like them. You know, they're here on the post, but can you read what that says? I can't read from here what it says. And it, I mean, we got close. It says Epcot International Food and Wine, but it's tiny. You can't really read it, so you're this close. So imagine you're here with kids, and it's your very first time at Epcot ever in your life. And I, again, I know people are going to say, they got, you got to research before you come down. I agree. Do your research before you come. But I just, I kind of, I try to side with people and I get it. There's not a lot saying what is the special thing for food and wine. That's very pronounced. Like you might think all these booths, like to us, we're like, wow, look at this Hawaii booth. This isn't always here. But if it's your very first time at Epcot, how would you know that? You might just think this is part of <laughs> Epcot, unless you read the super fine print. And again, if you're walking around with a family above Hawaii, where it says Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. So I felt bad for this family because they were like, oh, we didn't really know food and wine was going on. But they're like, it's okay. We're coming back in November. We're going to do a lot more research. I was like, well, that's good. But just an interesting observation. Because if you think about it, now that I'm looking around, like if I was never, if I had never been to Epcot, you would think all these structures are permanent, not that they're just here for festivals. Like, these are the decorations for food and wine. What even are these? Again, it's better than nothing, so I'm not trying to complain. But does the does this yell, like, hey, this is our biggest festival of the year, food and wine? Brandy, hit the nail on the head. Another good reason to use a travel agent. And we have, I think at this point, five amazing travel agents in our Discord. Travel agents cost you absolutely nothing, and I can almost guarantee will save you, if not money, definitely time. Disney takes care of them. You could even go ahead and, if you want to waste the time of pricing out yourself and then talking to a travel agent with the same exact package, I bet you it'll be the same price or cheaper, but a travel agent has all the knowledge that you need for a Disney vacation. I am not one, so it sounds like I'm plugging myself for some service or like we have a sponsor. We don't. But we have, and I'd be happy to have one. So if you're a travel agency, you want these plugs like this, I'd be happy to do a little commercial for you. Or if you want any business here or around the country, we would love some sponsors. We want to do some really cool stuff, and we could definitely use some sponsors. But anyway, I'm just saying, use a travel agent. And we have awesome people in the Discord. It's the end of my, <laughs> my spiel. Looking for adventure. Uh, updates since yesterday. Still scaffolding here in Canada. If you happen to have missed yesterday's stream, we were here for seven and a half hours doing the food and wine thing. Also find it interesting, this band has no name. They're a band with no name. But you know what they are. That's right. If you want my best bathroom recommendation, we talk about it every time we pass it. But while they're doing work on the UK bathrooms, these restrooms are open in the World Show Place, and they are awesome. Don't believe me? Go in and check it out for yourself. There's a bajillion stalls on urinals, a bajillion sinks with nice cold water with good water pressure. It is clean as if no one has used it ever. It's going to be your happy place here at Disney at one point throughout your day. And that's all I'll say.
<laughs> is a that's great. Yeah, I feel like there was more fanfare for Food and Wine. Maybe it's coming out, but I mean, they normally have it out, you know, the week leading up to festivals. Command performance. Man, they change his band name all the time. It's supposed to be a show back here in five minutes. Dad about Disney says, uh, my complaint is the food and wine booths close too early. Yeah, some of them do. I know some stay open a little later, but I'm with you. I think they all should stay open late. Especially because a lot of people park hop over here. Michelle saying the PB&J wings were good and the par gar parm uh, and garlic. Yeah, both very good. They Those were around last year, too. I had them. They were great. For those who missed yesterday's stream, the orange cardamom I thought was very good as well. We are only 13 likes away from 200. If you haven't hit the like button, consider doing so. It would be really delightful. Let's check out this band. Let's see if I know them. Sometimes the same band is like uh, MAD and Epic, but these guys look different. Command Performance, maybe it's a new band. You guys remember the British Revolution? We have a interview with them when they were performing here pre-COVID here on the channel if you want to check it out and a performance from them of course we used to come watch them all the time this is a new UK band Brandy I know breaking news right none of these guys look familiar Good night, Lynette. Thanks for hanging out with us. We've got about two minutes. Quiet back here. I think a lot of people don't know. I wonder if the Canada band ends at seven because they were rocking a little Born to be Wild one country over. You could still hear the Canadian band by the Rose and Crown entrance. How beautiful is this? Can we just talk about what I'm looking at? Michelle, the movie was awesome. Yes, for anyone who's joining us a little bit late, uh, we went from the Haunted Mansion movie to the Haunted Mansion, then to here. You know, it's, and we did all three modes of transportation, a bus, a boat, and a monorail. But I have to say, I really enjoyed the Haunted Mansion movie. And I think if you are a fan of the Haunted Mansion attraction at the Magic Kingdom, you will definitely be a fan yourself. So many cool things. I want to go see it again. Ooh, it is hot. We'll give them a few minutes. Let's go look at some stuff. All right, people are starting to come back here. Oh, she's got the queen shirt on. People are all right, all right. We're getting a little crowd forming. I do wish it was a little bit easier in the app, and maybe I'm just doing it wrong, but I wish you could kind of just pull up the app and just click all entertainment, and it was all here. And not just like the big shows, like what happens to the America Gardens Theater at night, but like the Sergio performances over in Italy, the UK band here, the Canada band, like all the little things. That if there's entertainment that has a start time, have them all listed on a nice, easy list. Maybe I just haven't figured that out in all my experience on the app. So another cool little thing, in case you've never noticed, the uh, sound booth, every band has a sound person, is right there in that window on the end. You can see that window is open. That's who uh, controls their sounds and their Hello, levels. Hello, world travelers. Hello. Please welcome to the stage, Command, Command Performance. Performance. Woo! Oh, yeah. It's 
not very rock and roll, but I love the mood lighting underneath those trees. These two lamps, they're beautiful. All right. Back to rocking out. The crowds are starting to come in as well, which is nice. This place was just empty a little while ago. Yeah, yeah! Woo! Crazy little thing. Cola. A little Queen medley, I'm into it. Crazy little thing called love. Maybe that's why she's wearing the Queen shirt. She must know the band. Crazy little thing. He said, have you heard there's a new Dolly Parton cover of this? No, but I can't wait to hear it. David Cottrell says, there was a Haunted Moon Mansion movie a few years ago. Yeah, with Eddie Murphy. That one was terrible. This one is awesome. You got Owen Wilson, Tiffany Haddish, Lakeith Stanfeld, Danny DeVito, Jared Leto. Who else? Jamie Lee Curtis. It's awesome. Bam, bam, bam. Here we go. Relax. Clap them up. Take a back. Take a long ride on my motorbike. Crazy little thing. What I can do. so often you'll be like Pete food and wine again and I'm gonna say yeah guys people love it I'm, I love it so we'll be back hanging out with our food and our drinks listen to them many many times throughout the summer since this thing is all of August all of September all of October and half of November that was a magical moment I will say since all my friends have left and it's been a long day. Yesterday we did seven and a half hours. Today we are already past, let's see, it's seven, oh, after seven already. We started at three. We're over four hours today. I think I might call it for today because it was a lot of fun. We were all over the place. If you missed any of it, you should go check it out because we did a little bit of everything. We started at the AMC Theater at Disney Springs, showed you the fanfare for the Haunted Mansion. Then on a whim, we decided let's go to the STK Happy Hour because it's one of the best happy hours. You can save a ton of money. Lauren and I were there together. We uh, tried a few items, tried a few drinks, reviewed them for you, showed you the prices, what they looked like, all that fun stuff. Then I took a bus over to the Poly. Then we took a boat to the Magic Kingdom. We did a quick lap. We showed you the construction update at Tiana uh, on her new Knot Mountain. 
<laughs> we did the Country Bears, we did the Haunted Mansion, we took a monorail over to Epcot, and we did a little Moana construction update and a little bit of the spine, see how that's coming along. We did a lot today. <laughs> and it all started with the Haunted Mansion. So I'd like to thank you all so much for two days back-to-back -back amazing streams. I see we're only about eight likes away from 200 likes. If you haven't hit the like button, do so. If you're watching in the future, you can still hit the like button. Uh, and yeah, thanks for sharing. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for liking. Big shout out to all the new subscribers. Uh, big shout out to everyone who's just been here for a while. I appreciate you. Uh, you have to go check out our Discord. Best community on the internet. I love it. If you don't believe me, at least go check it out. You can go create a new, create a name. I recommend using your YouTube handle or your real name so we know who you are. But just come check it out. If you don't like it, you leave. But uh, it's just like a legitimate, friendly, kind, positive space. You can use your cell phone, your computer, your laptop, whatever. It's completely free. There's no money involved. Uh, yeah, follow the socials. See what's going on tonight. I'm actually going to be back here. That's kind of why I'm tired. The direction I'm walking right now towards the boardwalk and that beautiful sunset is I'm going to be back here in about oh my god is it it's 8 15 it's not 7 15 we've been doing this for five hours i'm supposed to be at the dance hall at nine. Oh, this is gonna be a disaster i am a sweaty mess i was gonna go home and wash the shirt and come back well anyway i'm gonna go find an uber to <laughs> run home take a cold shower change come back to the boardwalk but if you want to see that madness You got to follow the socials. I was going to say subscribe, but I'm not going to be live there tonight. But the socials, at Official Carney on Instagram, and that's the threads too. Your WDW guy on Twitter. Uh, Adventures by Carney is the TikTok, same as this channel. And our Patreon, if you're able to support, I know it's not for everybody, but if you're able to, man, oh man, it really means so much. The Patreon is patreon.com backslash Adventures by Carney. I cannot thank you all enough for hanging out with me uh merch go get your merch we got hats we got shirts oh, i'm not wearing the shirt and uh only a few water bottles left the water bottles are awesome you gotta go get yourself a water bottle lauren has mine uh they keep your hats hot and cold cold they fit in every cup holder they're amazing they're made by a legit company dugout mugs partner with us they're like a 